Hey, we're Las Vegas locals, Tanya and Dave from Turn It Up World. And today we're sharing some of the best restaurants in Las Vegas you must try. This is a complete Las Vegas food guide of top Las Vegas restaurants ranging from hot spots on the Vegas Strip to local favorites. Mm -hmm. I'm talking from luxury Vegas dining to some of the best cheap eats, tacos, and pizza in all of Las Vegas. Join us in this full documentary as we explore the great food options Las Vegas has to offer. All right, y'all, let's eat. Welcome to We Rock. This yes. is a really cool spot. Very cool. I just love this back room we're in, too. Yeah. Really quiet. A lot of great artifacts and things on the wall. And, of course, you know what we are having tonight because you oh, just yeah. scoped it out before uh, we even got oh, here. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, they're known, of course, for their fish and chips. Yeah. They serve just, I don't know how much, like but just tons. Like a million units. A million units, so wow. gotta be fish and chips. Yeah. Right? And they have a great, and we love lamb burgers. They have a great lamb burger. We're gonna try that as well. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, I, I'm really excited. But And to kick things off, you know, always, we tend to start off with more of that old fashioned, right? But oh, tonight, yeah. we just felt like because we're going for the fish and chips, and you're going for the burger, you gotta have the beer. And I'm just happy because they actually told us what it is, right on? Yeah. It's a Smithwick's Red Ale. There it and is. Just like our server said, it's got that rich red color, but it goes down smooth like the wimpy beers we like. <laughs> <laughs> so just for those of you interested in checking out this place, Rira is kind of located in between Mandalay Bay and Luxor. It's sort of like the Mandalay right place. Right Mandalay place. Right in, place. Exactly. exactly. You just kind of walk on through. It's closer to Mandalay Bay, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, very convenient to both Luxor and Mandalay Bay. This place is super popular too, so make reservations, especially Wednesday through Sunday when they have live music, because it's it's, uh, it's loud and having a lot of fun in here. So. Absolutely. I will drink right? to that. And they're actually going Tuesday oh, through right. Sunday pretty soon for live music, so. And that must be because of the rollback. And maybe, yeah. think about this, that 100% is right around the corner. Exactly. Cheers. Cheers. You've gone with the traditional fish and chips, as we mentioned earlier, and the price for that one is 23 25 That's interesting, 23 25 23 25 Yes, and then the Dubliner Burger, which yeah. I am ready to sink my teeth into, was a whopping 15 25 But certainly not cheap, but the vibe and the atmosphere oh. and the live music with good food and beer. Very Shoo! cool. Makes you want to dance oh, a little bit. Oh, let's do it. Let's start it up. This is lit. We should just. We're just gonna. Take those, Sorry. take these forks and knives and move them on to the side. I think we should just dive, dive on right in. Here into we this crispy fish. How is mm. that? Mm. Oh wow. This is excellent. That's really so good. good. It's so moist. Just light flaky fish, but perfectly cooked. The batter is really, I love the, the batter. It's not mm. super ready. It's not it's like exactly. just the right amount of bread on Perfect. top of that, a nice yeah. little crunch to it, but there's so much meat to that fish. So good. Oh my god. And of course gosh. the tartar sauce is just perfect. We'll be back to you in just a second. Oh. Here we go. Pick your weapon. Wow, dude, that looks delicious. Yeah, this one has like goat cheese, or I'm not sure if that's the... Uh, Curry That's aioli. like the goat cheese, and then you see the curry aioli yeah, sauce right there. on there. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, and it's, it's rosemary infused inside yes. of that as well. So, ooh. can't wait. We love, love, love lamb burgers. So, let's Cheers. go. Mm. Wow. Mm. That was really good. Wow. There is so much flavor. Yes. Coming out of that lamb burger. I don't even know where to start. There's just like a burst of like flavors all in my mouth. Yeah, I mean, the, you really taste that rosemary lamb. Mm -hmm. Just excellent. Incredibly, we had, we had to cook medium. Incredibly moist, very good. But I taste that goat cheese. Yeah. Goat cheese really kind of comes on strong. Mm -hmm. And the, the aioli like sauce, that. too. Yeah. The curry aioli. There's like a, you can definitely taste the curry aspect in that. But I think the mm. rosemary and that. It tastes that rosemary. That curry combination. Yeah. It's a real nice flavor, and it's true to medium. That was made medium. Yeah. To perfection. Mm. Mm. Say it with me. 
Mmm. Mm. I like the sound of that. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Big Sur Oyster Bar. This is Chef John Ryan over here at the uh, Big Sur Oyster Bar at South Point. I wanted to tell you about a few soups that we got going on. We got the scratch made New England clam chowder. Also the very underrated Manhattan clam chowder. Very good. What I see a lot of people like to do is they get a little half and half for there, a little swirl. It's beautiful together. Why don't you come down, check us out. We got a beautiful bouillabaisse. base. We've got the chipino here. We've even got stuff you never even heard of or if you want to come, want something a little different? Ask your boys to down Ryan. I got you. All right, you excited? Oh, I'm very excited. The clams, the kind of fish in there, the, the mussels, the sauce. It's, it's kind of a spicy. Oh my God. Oh man, look at that. Right? A little blackened halibut in there, nothing wrong with that. Mm. You don't have to worry about the setup. Just mm. bite it. And... Looks like you finished that off, babe. Yeah, I did. I finished it off, but I am so stuffed though. I can't eat another thing. I think I have one of the best ways to burn this off. Now we're up at the top of the world restaurant, but we're in the bar area. So if you don't have a reservation for the restaurant, you come up to the bar. It's actually very nice. Still some amazing views up here. And enjoy a drink and some appetizers. Oh, and if you don't have a reservation like we didn't, if you're kind enough to ask one of the hostesses here, you'd like to dine downstairs, if there's something available from what she told me, as long as you have a minimum tab of 55 bucks, if something's available, you can sit down and watch Vegas rotate right in front of your eyes. <laughs> there's the restaurant right there that moves and grooves. How you feeling? It's kind of weird. Like when I see you know, rotating down below, we aren't rotating. Makes me feel a little kind of little queasy, 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 queasy dizzy, yeah. Movies, right? like, it's like weird, a... yeah. It's a great night. Cheers, I ended up babe. getting a, uh, what do you call it? A mocktail mojito. And you got a non-mocktail old-fashioned. Yeah, old-fashioned. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers, great babe. night. Love you so much. Love you so much. Mm. <laughs> So I ended up getting the lobster bisque here. The lobster bisque is 21 bucks, but it's a great presentation. Real lobster meat on the bottom as they pour in the uh, lobster bisque itself. Mm, mm, mm. It's kind of music loud. So I like how you order. Mm. I have like order envy on that one. Do you? Yes. Well, you know I'm going to share with you, baby. <laughs> you know I'm going to share with you. <laughs> the bisque is just right. It's not too watery. It has a nice consistency to it. It almost tastes the creme fraiche in it. It's delicious. So I got to say, this is a bit interesting, right? <laughs> it's basically Creole style lump crab toast with Creole butter. It's actually clearly put into the oven, right? Kind of crispy it up. I'm taking a bite. Take a bite. That's good though. That's tasty. Oh, I am definitely never trying that. Oh my God, so scary. So now there are quite a few options for restaurants in here and we're going to show you just what they have to offer but we are starving right now and just beyond me where I'm looking at right now is a spot that we're going to check out. It's a steakhouse here called Nico's and if you know you're coming especially on weekends make sure you make a reservation in advance because it get pretty busy here. Now we've already got a rundown on the menu as well as the cocktails. One of the things I noticed, which was definitely something that uh, we're going to try, and one of the host's favorites is the original sin, which is sort of their version of an old fashioned. It has some coconut vibe in there. That goes for 21 bucks. Dave is going for his traditional old fashioned. 
And boy, let me tell you, we took one look at that menu and there are so many amazing things to choose from, from sashimi to caviar to all different kinds of steaks, including a Japanese Wagyu, I believe it's from Hokkaido. And it's, wow. You know, I usually try to turn away bread from the beginning, but when it says white chocolate cranberry, Ooh, I think that is probably going to be a good starter. Hey, you are, my dear. Thank you, baby. You're so welcome. Old fashioned and two amazing young looking folks here. <laughs> Cheers. Here's a great night. Hey. Love you, baby. Love you. That is so good. Welcome to Pick and Anthony's here at the Golden Nugget. And we actually, we're doing what we tend to do. We're sharing a Caesar salad to kick things off. It's $14. And then we're actually gonna share, I'm gonna pull this up here. It's A5 Japanese Wagyu filet mignon, six ounces from the Kagoshima Prefecture for $110. We're also gonna get, of course, lobster tails. We're each gonna have our own. So Maybe excited. lobster tails, five ounces, $39 each. Yummy. Uh, for that. It's gonna be good. And then we'll see about dessert. Now, the last time we tried the A5 Wagyu um, was at the Gordon Ramsay Steak, and that was quite an experience, right, Dave? It was unbelievable. It was unreal. Yeah. So we're and looking. And that was A5 Japanese Wagyu, and maybe Kobe. And Kobe. As well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it was so good. looking to kind of recapture a little bit of that magic, and I am looking forward to this evening here with my hubby. I'd never been to Vic and Anthony, so super cool spot here down at the uh, Golden Nugget. And yes. we're kicking it off a little bit of these, you guys. Oh, yeah. Delicious old fashioned, old fashioned. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Knob, Creek. Knob Creek rye with uh, some uh, brown butter bitters and an orange rye. Delicious! And this is bread, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum, give me some. Yum, yum, give me some. <laughs> So really quick, you guys, we're going to talk about the service while we're waiting for our food here. Now, we weren't sure what to expect regarding Vic and Anthony's initially because it's more of a corporate type steakhouse versus a mom and pop or smaller family owned. And I will tell you, the service here has been dynamite. Our server is extremely knowledgeable of the food, um, of each dish, and I think, you know, that to me makes the experience and the food taste even better when you have someone as knowledgeable and as friendly as our staff. So cheers to the staff. Boy, first up, this Canadian lobster tail, of course, with the extra butter sauce. Get Gotta give this a it. shot, Dave. Yeah. I'm excited. Now, that's the lobster tail we're used to. It's got like a sweet flavor to it. Um, it's nice and warm with the warm butter. It just takes it to the next level. It's a very good lobster tail. It's tiny. But it's mighty. Canadian lobster. Yeah, all the way, baby. I'm looking forward to see what you think about it. All right, this is a nice piece. I'm going to dip it in some butter. Always dip it in the butter. Oh, yeah. Never too much. Mmm. Right? It's spot mm. on. The sweetness. Oh, that is so good. Very nice sweetness to it. Great lobster flavor. Oh, welcome to the main event, everybody. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Dave, I'm going to let you have the honor of trying that first. All right, A5 Japanese A5 Wagyu. A5 Japanese Wagyu. Go for it. Ready? Here we go. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Look at that face. Kind of says it all right there. It just melts away in your mouth. It's so good. Mm. You're going to love it, Ben. Yum, yum. It's back some memories. That's good. Yep, Dave was right. I absolutely enjoyed it as well. Overall, great night here at Vic and Anthony's. The food and our server were fantastic. 
And a big thank you to the anonymous guests that took care of our old fashions for us. Thank you very much. Now, with full bellies, it's time to freshen up and burn off some energy. Well, that was really good. Mm hmm, it was. Wow, so welcome to Casa Calavera here at the uh, Virgin. So excited to try this awesome Mexican spot that's kind of inspired by Dia de Muertos. Yeah, it's really nice. I love the outside patio area. They actually have real sand you can put your feet in. Mm-hmm. Very cool. And of course, starting out here with some chips and salsa. Fire roasted salsa, baby. Yum, yum, give us some. Wow, so we're excited about this guacamole here with bacon and Dave. It's really good, right? Oh, it's good. You're gonna like it. So, so yummy. And I love how they put a little bit. I didn't have really any, uh, I didn't grab any of that big piece of bacon, but they're mm. picking bits. I love it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm. So good. So excited for this. So I got the pork carnitas tacos. It's got the refried beans and the rice. Rice and beans, yum yum. Give me some. Dave, what'd you get? Well, I got the same, except I got the carne asada tacos, and those look great. Mm, they smell really good, and they actually brought out some pretty spicy sauces here, which I might try. The, the, the milder one is the habanero, which just kind of blows my mind, because usually that kills me. But there's one hotter than that. Not sure what kind of pepper's in there, but it's hotter than the habanero, so. I may be sweating a little bit. We'll Ooh, see about this. See yeah. Yeah, food is very good here. Now, it's definitely not cheap. No, it's not. But I will tell you, it's worth to try. I felt like the tacos had a nice authentic taste to them. The ambiance is great. And I can assure you, when that pool opens up, this will be a hot spot for sure. Yeah. Yes, yeah, you feel like you're almost at a uh, kind of a Mexico beach resort, like maybe Cancun or Cabo, right? Yes, absolutely. So. <sighs> Time for a nap, guys. The Palms has a lot of interesting restaurants here from Maple's Barbecue. You got the buffet. There's a food court full of food, breakfast at Serrano's. You can even check out Scotch 80 Steakhouse, which we are going to be diving into at some point. But today we're heading to Tim Ho Wan, which is their Michelin star restaurant here. And I've heard they had some pretty good dim sum. So I think it's dim sum time to check it out. Let's eat. I mean, I'm like super psyched for this place. I know. It's right, awesome. a little dim sum. It's supposed to be great, like a Michelin star and right it's here at the Palm. Busy. It is, it's actually very busy here. And I tell you, those baked barbecue pork buns, they sound pretty good. Yeah. Oh, Dave, there's something missing for you. Oh, yeah, I need a. Uh, you need a. You yeah, need can sports. I have some uh, utensils, please? <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. Already showing up on the table are the pork buns. Look oh, yeah, look buckets. at that. They look firm and flaky. Now, I could have picked those with chopsticks, but I'm going to just... Hot pocket. Mm. That outer shell's crunchy. It's got like the perfect amount. And see that steam coming out of there? That is good. You're right, man. That is sweet and savory. Mm -hmm. That's really nice. We've actually ordered an assortment of things here just to kind of give a bunch of different things to try from the pork buns which are seven dollars and fifty cents you get three of those nice sized pork buns the wonton soup which is coming 12.95 the shrimp shumai dumplings that is 6.95 the uh, spicy dumpling right over there we just showed you guys is 6.95 and the garlic shrimp which is a very popular item on the menu that is a whopping 38 bucks so we're diving in to test which one's our favorites but so far that pork bun is yum yum give me some more Welcome to 
Fresco Italiano. We're actually very excited to try. Dave, you must be excited because I'm looking at some of these things here. And one of the things we heard on the menu tonight is a duck risotto. risotto. What? I know, that actually sounds really good. Right? When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a morning. When the world seems to shine like it had too much wine, that's a morning. Bells will ring, ring, ding, 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 ring, ring, ding, ring, 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 that a morning. It's all about doing it live and it makes it right here and this at is, Fresco Italiano. And this is before the drinks and the food. <laughs> Be right back, guys. <laughs> that was perfect. To a great night here at the Westgate and Fresco Italiano. Cheers, baby. Cheers. My amazing wife. Love you. Love you. Oh. It's perfect. Nice. So, what'd you get over there for your appetizer? Something very classic. Got the meatballs. Ah, the meatballs. Right. It's a slow braised beef, pork kind of a blend. And uh, it is. So tender, very good. Sometimes the meatballs, I'm worried about it being really heavy, but boy, it's good. What do you get, babe? I end up getting the melanzan, which is the tomato and basil stuffed eggplant. It's creamy, it's got ricotta cheese in it, and I'm gonna just make sure I'm saying that right, so I'm gonna grab the menu like I always like to do. Yes, it's basil and ricotta stuffed eggplant, uh, tomato sauce, and burrata cheese. It's really good. I think the one thing I like about it the most is it looks heavy, but it's light. Those are actually very good, right? Those little starters. Oh, they were excellent. I will say they did uh, fill me up a little bit. Yeah. First of all, number one, put your hands together like this. The light is burning, but I'm That's all you want. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Hey! <laughs> What's the voice? So you get a show. As well as a dinner party. and a show. Dinner and a show. Dinner and a show. Dang. And then the show after. <laughs> the yep. show after. Double. Double show. Double. All right, so the main dishes have arrived. Excited. Right, yeah. I, I opted for the Branzino Mediterranean sea bass. And this was $42. It's a, it looks really good. You got the uh, duck confit risotto. Mm. I believe it's $29. That, that looks really good too. Oh, there's so much flavor in it. I already took a bite and I'm excited. You should dive in. All right, we'll dive on in here. I'm gonna get in on the side. Maybe I'll just jump in. I'm gonna try the fish right away and then mm. that skin. That's excellent. Really nicely cooked too. Perfect. So there's a lot of history within these walls. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of history throughout Las Vegas when it comes to this entire family. Maria, who is one of the owners, she lived to be about 102 years old. If you look at the actual menu in that photo, you'll see she was 100 years old in that photo. And she said two things to live a long, happy life. Get your hair done every Saturday, and also make sure you have your crown royal and coffee in the morning. And that was kind of her thing. So I, I, I might have to try that. But there is just so much history in this place. There's not a bad thing on the menu. There's all kinds of specials and options. They have live music here for sure. And they used to, before the pandemic, they were open 24 hours a day. Pandemic kind of took that away. And just a couple things we should point out. Actually, behind Tanya is a beautiful piano, and that's because they have nightly entertainment seven days a week, which we're excited for coming up later this evening. And also, if you go to their website, you can sign up for their VIP club membership. And the cool thing about that is that for one, now it's one time only when you come in for dinner you can get actually a free bottle of house wine or a free uh, a ravioli appetizer and um, we're actually gonna go for the uh, the house wine I think <laughs> real quick toast to my incredible husband I love that we get to do these adventures together I love that we get to experience restaurants like this and share it with our turnip world family thanks so much baby and uh, I gotta say I gotta salute to you as well to my amazing wife I love you so much thank you baby love you to the moon and back Salud! Salud!
We have already started devouring into what they bring is like table side garlic knots with the marinara sauce. Absolutely delicious. I've already gone ahead and placed my order. I am going for, which is very popular here, the Asaluco. And I'll just tell you, it's the petite veal shanks served with saffron risotto, asparagus, mushrooms, tomatoes, and zucchini. And that goes for 42 bucks. And I'm sure, as you will see, it's good portion sizes for that amount, which I'm sure I'll be taking some to go. <laughs> And I'm actually going for the Carpadel Bolognese. Pretty simple pasta dish. It's imported ribbon egg pasta with Chef Maria's creamy bolognese sauce. So it sounds really good. And that dish is $26, just so you're aware. Mmm, salad looks good. It does, yeah, as we often do, right? Sharing the Caesar salad. $14. It smells good. Try to dive in. Extra dressing. A little bit extra dressing. <laughs> oh, there it is. All about that first bite. Wow, tell you, babe, that's a really good Caesar dressing. Oh, it's so right. creamy. So nice and creamy. You kind of taste a little bit of anchovies in that as well. This is very good. I can tell you now with the music behind us, the food arriving, it just feels like it's bringing the experience to a climax. But first, you gotta try the food to really take you to that climax. And I'll tell you, if you could smell what I smell, this asabuco, the veal just smells delicious. It's been pretty much cooked 24 hours so that the meat just falls off of that bone. They give you a small fork as well so you can dive into that marrow because that's where some of the juiciest and tastiest part of this veal lies. Oh, it's so tender. The smell is amazing and it's just like a platter of meat smorgasbord. <laughs> to say the seasoning is done just right. You can still taste the hearty flavors of that slow braised veal. The cheese on top of that really brings it on. The, the little fatty textures has that great flavor. And then you try it with a little bit of that mushroom that's in there and the asparagus. It's a winning combination. I tell you, the carpenter bolognese looks very good. good. I gotta dive right in. What do you think, babe? I dive right in. Dive right in. Simple. It's a sin not to. I agree. Let's do it. There we go. Ready? Oh, that smells good. Big wow, that sauce is amazing. It's so creamy. Can you just taste that? A nice bolognese in there. It is excellent. The pasta is just so light and delicate. This, it's a simple dish, but it's very good, babe. You're gonna like it. It's gonna make this quick and simple. This is the Italian cream cake that they have here. It's very popular. As a matter of fact, it's Mama's cream cake. It's something that they said she had when she would have her dessert. I don't know, something about desserts always ties a good meal together, so I'm diving right in. Welcome to La Pizza and La Pasta here at Park MGM. We're excited. Yeah, we're in Italy here mm. and uh, definitely hungry. Looking forward to maybe get some pizza. Yeah. And maybe some pasta. Yes. <laughs> well, I definitely want to skip on that pasta, but I like the pizza yeah, and yeah. I think that nice arugula. I keep seeing tables with the arugula salad you that can, has like the Parmesan cheese it. on it. I can't. Yeah. That's my jam right there. Yeah. We went ahead with the arugula salad, which we're gonna share. It came out already, it looks actually very nice. I know, it's a mountain of arugula. <laughs> yeah, very nice, nice shaved Parmesan on there too. And looks, olive oil, good. delicious. Right, and uh, also we're gonna share the margarita pizza. Now the margarita pizza is about $19. I believe the salad is about 16. Yeah, 15 or 15 16, 16 they yeah. said. Now what's interesting too about La Pizza and La Pasta is you know, there are two different places working together as one. So if you order like, you know, pizza and pasta at the same time, the pizza might be coming from another place and exactly. the different, pasta will be coming from yeah, somewhere else. Two different else, kitchens so. here. Two different kitchens, right? all under one roof, but, and all going into my belly. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum, give me some. There's something so refreshing about a nice arugula salad. The lemon in there, the cheese, the olive oil, it's got a little bit of a bite to it. A nice cool salad on a hot Vegas day is uh, not too bad. Come on in from the heat. 
Nice little cool salad. Nice cool salad on a hot Vegas day. Yeah. No goes even better, a cold beer. <laughs> Welcome to the main event, babe. We got the uh, margarita pizza. Yeah, it looks nice. It looks really That's good. Arrived. I loved how the uh, crust on the edges is kind of a little, little crispy burntness to it. I think it's going to add some nice flavor. Oh, I'm sure it will. Yeah, it looks good. It looks juicy. I'm just going to grab a slice and go. Grab it on. Yeah. There we Cheers. go. <laughs> That is really good. It's not crunchy, so soggy. Right. With the cheese. Mm. Yeah, it's incredibly thin. Right, incredibly thin. A, lo a little soggy, but not in a bad way so much. No. It tastes so good, just full of flavor. Still light, though. Mm -hmm. you know, of course, the margarita is not a lot going on there. You know, keep it nice and thin, very fresh ingredients. It's good. Yeah. And the crust is, the, the dough and the crust is really nice. Yeah, you like, you're more of a crust person than I am. Um, but I definitely see it's got that nice mm. doughiness to it. Let me give it a shot. The crust is light and flaky. Mm. Very light. And the burn. No, nice, right? It's nice. Like the whole thing is nice. It's, it actually reminds me of the word refreshing. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's, oh my gosh. I would I honestly have to say, initially I'm thinking, oh my God, it's $16 for a small pizza. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah. But there's so much flavor in it that I feel like I don't really get in margarita pizzas. That's like it's right out of Italy. Nice. Exactly. Right out of Italy. Very, uh, very good. Ah, bon appetit. So what do you think, babe? Hmm, I think the food was really, really good. It was actually good. What did you think? I thought it was very good, too. Saturday here, but we're gonna kick things off with a pitcher of sangria. It's supposed to be really good, so looking forward to things, babe. Looking forward to that. So super excited. The ambiance here is pretty cool. Very hip, sort of like young vibe. It's a really busy weekend. They do have like outdoor and indoor seating. Really cool setup for sure. Now we are excited to try some of the sangria, like Dave was saying, and the menu items look tasty. I have an idea. I think I know what Dave is going to order, but we shall see. We shall see. So Tani and I are going to share the carne asada fries, which sound just like these incredibly loaded fries, full of flavor. It's gonna be awesome, we're excited for it now. $16 for that. Now, I'm a huge fan of calamari, so I'm always dying to try new places when it comes to like fried calamari. Uh, I saw a plate of someone earlier, it looked really good. There's like a, I guess they're gonna have like the sauce for it with some uh, jalapeno wheels. Really looking forward to that, and I believe that one is $13. Yes, $13. So I'm ready. Orders are in. Time for us to enjoy the this sangria. Now a table opened up on the terrace, so we actually took advantage of that. We're out on the terrace now. We recommend that. It's very nice out here on the terrace. Our food has arrived as well. It smells and looks amazing, so we're psyched. What do you think, Tanya? I think you're absolutely right. I think it just took this whole place to another dynamic sitting outside. I can understand why now reservations for the outside was booked until about 5 o'clock p.m. But you're outside where all the action is. Imagine being out here, there's like an open stage, entertainment outside as well, enjoying some good food. And you're right, the food smells amazing. Exactly. It's, it's time to dive in. Eat it while it's hot. <laughs> yum, yum, give us some. That is really good. Oh my gosh, the spice from the little jalapeno in there. The lemon aioli sauce is like the ringer. A little spicy, nice and crunchy on that calamari. All I have to say is, oh my goodness, and you know what? Yum, yum, give us some more. <laughs> <laughs> now this looks amazing. You see the steak in there, the avocado, the sour cream, and the pico de gallo. I'm gonna dive right in here and give it a shot. So it's gonna be a little messy eating. A little messy hey, eating. What's all about today? All right, here we go. Here we get some. I gotta get some steak. Here we oh, go. Perfect. That's it's a good mess. Perfect piece. All set. And, and this is without the hot sauce. Maybe next time. Here we go. Mm. Two for two. So far, so good. Oh 
my god. That is so delicious. All right. Words can't describe what I'm feeling in my mouth right now. A little hot, little steak, crunchy fries, pico de gallo, avocado, sour cream. Wow, that's all I gotta say. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> We've decided on going with Istanbul Mediterranean here at the Bazaar Shops. They have a phenomenal, I'm gonna to point to the menu, beef and lamb sort of gyro. It's delicious. I think we should get two. Well, that sounds good I'm to me, starving. man. I want it loaded too. I am ah, man. Right, and it's really, really good here. So That's it's good. time to eat. And it's so beautiful tonight. Yeah, look at this beautiful. Let's eat. Now, babe, this is a little piece of heaven. It smells unbelievable, and we have got to start eating. Woo! I'm it is so good. I'm so excited. Yeah, I want to dive in. I want to see what you think of that with the spice. You got like extra spice? Yeah. Take a bite out of that. I want to see. What you yeah, and I want to. I'm gonna put on extra tzatziki sauce too. But I'll start here with this. Just one. Just the spice and whatever you got on the way. It's gonna be awesome. Never go wrong here, right? Mm. I mean, for 13 bucks, you get that monster's piece. It's awesome. Really good. I mean, center strip, open till 4 a.m. 4 a.m. This is an amazing spot to come. You're, you got the uh, you got the munchies on the strip late at night. Come over to Istanbul Mediterranean. And Woo. clearly, we have the munchies. <laughs> we got the munchies, yes. All right, I'm going for this one with the extra tzatziki. That is dynamite. I love the extra crunchy cabbage, red cabbage. The sauce, the mixture, the meat. So good. Isn't it? We're starving. We are. And that's probably why it tastes so good. <laughs> Look at all those meats and cheeses. Meats and cheeses. <laughs> is found right here at the South Point Hotel and Casino, which is basically located on the further side of the Las Vegas Boulevard. Um, I will say, it's a really cool place here called the Coronado Cafe. And right now, Dave and I are about to dive into their graveyard special. So it's a deep discounted price on a few select items off of their menu that, uh, yeah, I'm talking really cheap, like shrimp cocktail for $2.95 and steak and eggs for like $6.45 which traditionally that can go for substantially more, right? Right, exactly. And of course, the graveyard special is like 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. every day. Every, every, day. Every, every morning. Every morning. Every morning. Seven days a week. So come get your graveyard special on for this is definitely a true cheap eat. Truth be told, I'm about to order two shrimp cocktails and a steak and eggs. Just saying. And a milkshake. Okay. All right, you guys, welcome to Ellis Island Barbecue. It is loud and exciting, and we are starving. Yes, we are definitely starving, and we're going to get ourselves some baby back ribs for yes. sure. Yes, and we are not just getting some. We're getting a lot of, what, That's a rack right. and a half? We're getting a rack and a half. A rack and a half. We yep. already placed our orders. I am just, I don't know. And these are some of the cheapest ribs you'll get near the strip. I mean, the price, and especially with the card, right? So a full rack, a baby rack. $18.99 with the card $15.99 and with the card and playing also five dollars you get $13.99 another two bucks off nice so. and it's served daily starting at 4 p.m. so bring your appetite yeah. and we'll let you know how it is you know I, again it's like Dave was just saying it's one of the cheapest 
barbecues doesn't necessarily mean it's the best, but it right. certainly could be. And I'm ready to put that to the test. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yes. First impression, what do you think? I tell you, it's very good. There's a lot of, of uh, barbecue sauce on there, right? But it tastes great. I like the barbecue sauce. Nice little spiciness to it. Yes. Sweet and spicy. It's good. It's got a lot of great flavor. I mean, yeah, seriously, does. I didn't expect that off that first little bite. Now, we already took some nibbles, you guys. Oh, yeah. But it's so good. And then, of course, how interesting is that? You got garlic. It's garlic bread. Yeah. Looks like a garlic hot dog. Garlic bread hot, hot dog. dog roll. Yeah. Garlic hot dog roll. One thing, you can't be afraid to get messy because you're going to get really messy in this. You're never afraid to get messy when you eat your rib. <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably all up my face right now. Oh. oh. <laughs> mm. Mm. I know we talked about this before, um, but just after talking with like a lot of the staff here, mm -hmm. I felt like when you hear about the Ellis family and how passionate they are about, you know, their establishments, it's awesome. I mean, they're here boots on the ground at times too, really just working with the staff and being right. a part of the a part of the fam. No, it seems like a very close knit business and employees, which is great to hear. And they've done an amazing job too with Ellis Island. I mean, from the brewery, from all the great cheap eats, and of course, I mean, the hotel now with all kind of the refurbished rooms, this, the whole Elvis suite. I mean, that's pretty cool. That is very cool. Yeah. And of course, we ate at that Village Pub and Cafe. Oh, yeah. That was really cool. What I mean, a great TV. And they have so many of those. Well, exactly. I mean, the best steak special you'll get anywhere in Vegas, right? Whether it's steak and eggs or a steak dinner, great deals. If you want to see what some of those deals look like, head on over to our video. We yeah. posted one of our cheap meats here. Pretty good. Check it out. A lot of and a big mess. Mm, uh, big mess. Mmm. Hey, if you haven't done so, take a second to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and please give this video a thumbs up. We greatly appreciate that, and thank you. Stuff. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, no, I thought it was good as well. Definitely heavy on the barbecue sauce. Yeah, kind of what we expected though, and certainly nice and messy. Oh, extremely yeah. messy. And yeah. you're right about the barbecue sauce. I think it's very popular because every table has like a tub of barbecue right? sauce. So they love the barbecue sauce here. Absolutely. I'm stuffed. I think it's about time for us to see what else we can get into oh, yeah. here at Ellis Island. We're headed over there, Dave, over to Dirt Dog. Dirt Dog. Dirt Dog. Dirt Dog. So we have Dave in line right there, ordering those uh, delicious dogs for us. So I think I might end up going with an Elote dog and a Dirty Escape day. I think he knows I'm uh, down for that, so see what he thinks. Nice, got the order in. So it's been a while since we've been a Dirt Dog. I don't know, it has been. And this place is pretty new here, right down on Fremont. So my babe's going for the uh, Snoop Dog. I'm really curious about that, see how you like it. So what do you think of the White Claw? Well, I love seltzer and juice, like you know. And so you spike it, it's perfection, babe. This is perfection. Perfection. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. He's right. I love how they actually bring out the booty. Uh, yummy, yummy, yummy. This is dirty, dirty esquite. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it's that good, huh? That is dirty. I'm going for the Snoop Dogg. That tastes like a backyard barbecue. That's good. Turn it up, world! Woo! Turn it up, world! So one thing 
I do have to say is the service here is very fast. From the moment we got up to the counter to place our orders to sitting down, it took roughly a few minutes. Of course, we ended up getting the margaritas, which right now is sort of the happy hour margaritas. I think that might be going away at some point, but as of right now, I believe they were $5 for the margaritas each. Of course, I had to go with the street corn. Could not deny that. That is $3.75 for the street huh? taco. I mean, uh, sorry, the corn. And of course, you have the street tacos. I got the El Pastor and I got the barbacoa. Those right there, I believe, what, Dave, like two? Yeah, they start at around two. 280 for those, and of course, you can get the street taco coming on. This isn't the upcharge, is 280 plus 180 for that. Dave, what'd you get? All right, well, I got the uh, very popular queso taco here. Nice little cheesy shell. It's the Al Pastor queso, and that goes for 450. And also, I got myself a barbacoa vampiro. Nice little crusty shell here. Uh, excited to jump into that as well. And this is 575. Now, the cool thing about this, babe, is that, of course, you know this, the shell is made out of cheese, right? So they grill that cheese right on there and make this beautiful, incredibly tasty shell. With the Alpha store, can't beat the blend of flavors in this thing. I'm diving in. <laughs> Wow, it's just an explosion of flavors. Really amazing. It really tastes the sweetness of the pineapple. And I plus, I love putting that nice spicy sauce on there. That whole mix is perfection. This is the Vampiro Taco, and I am excited. Gotta say, love the barbacoa here, right? Always great flavor. The barbacoa goes great on the Vampiro with that crusty shell. And also just the flavors that, that are made up of that with the cilantro. And of course, I put a lot of salt on too. It's good, man. This place is really good. So I'm kicking things off with the Mexican street corn. It's like a lote corn. If you're familiar with that, you know it's got that mayonnaise kind of wrapped around it, the cotija cheese, and of course that red chili. Add that little spice to it. Mm, I'm ready to make a mess all over my face. I have to say, I really love, especially that first bite, the corn, that sweetness from the corn, the mayonnaise, the cotilla cheese, and the chili with that spice just really kind of brings it on home. I'm a big fan of like Mexican street corn on the cob. I love corn on the cob to begin with. All right, to be honest, y'all, I already started diving into this. I mean, as soon as it came to the table, it just smelled so good. I don't know, something about their barbacoa. It's tender, just in this street taco, the cilantro, the different flavors. And of course, I always add this sort of, reminds me of like an avocado type sauce here. It's not spicy. And I tend to mix that with the spice, but boy, I'm taking this last bite. Mm. It's really good, you guys. I'm just saying the flavors with that soft taco shell, the onion, the cilantro really pops out of that. I'm a big fan of the barbacoa tacos here. I mean, it's probably, in my opinion, one of my favorites. I'm also a huge fan of shrimps. The camarones, for me, what really kind of makes the taco nice here is that that shrimp is grilled. So you can kind of see the grilled char on that. You can taste that, the crispy lettuce near the tomato, and that like spicy mayo on top. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Exactly what I said. The only thing I'm adding to that is the kick from the spicy mayo. It just brings home a nice balance to it. So if you're into the street taco and like shrimp on those, definitely try the camarones. It's pretty good. Right, and Corona Jorge is their best seller as well. It's, it's really the rage now, right? But boy, they taste good, and it looks. You see them making it. I know. Look at that. Look at that. All that melted I mean, cheese, that cheese and the beef and everything. Nice little. Ooh, is it crispy? Toast it's on. It's crispy. crispy. And of course, you got the the consomme to dip yeah, that in there. Yeah, open that consomme up. Ooh. And this stuff, they kind of make this up special. That's crazy. Look at that. Oh, I know you're gonna enjoy that one. That is amazing, babe. That is so good. I'll tell you, that birria consomme, just so much flavor that you can really tell a lot of love went into that. Yeah. And uh, just everything blends together so nice. Whew. I can tell that you're gonna love your it. face from that first bite was like, hello. Okay, gonna, I gotta take another bite. You're gonna take love a, it. Take another bite. Mm. Dang. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Now 
Now, one of the things about this spot here is you cannot be afraid to get messy. This quesadilla taco, just to let you know, goes for $3.50. I have a little jalapeno in there just for a little bit of pop, but it's all about that consomme dip. Mm, look at that. Just look at that. And then that bite. <laughs> mm. Ooh, what do we got here? Our adobada nachos. So good. Loaded right up there for you too. Just unwrap that for you. Yeah. That's Ooh. crazy. Yeah, they're still loaded for sure, yeah. Totally loaded. Plenty so of flavor. And I even got extra flavor for you. So you got the mild, the hot, then our pickled onion radish, the staple there for you. Oh, the yeah. pickled onion radish. That's a staple. That's yeah. that little spice in that too. It's a little spicy because it has mm. some habanero. It's made with like orange juice, I think some lime in there too, and then vinegar. So. Yeah, Ooh. it's very good. Yeah. Mm. So you're telling us just don't get afraid to be messy because it's just all about, exactly. right? Exactly, yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, I got two forks there for you guys too to share. <laughs> yeah, forks? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Definitely good. So as you already heard Jorge mention about these fully loaded delicious nachos, it's one of the popular uh, items on the menu as well too. Now fully loaded means fully loaded. You're talking refried beans, guacamole, cheese, the whole nine yards. You even get like the pickled onions and radishes that has a little bit of spice, two different sauces like you mentioned. Now this goes for $10 here, which is great price for the size you see. But on Mondays, it goes for a lucky number 777. So come and get some nachos for 777 and then go drop it on some slots. And if you win, you know where to find us. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. So we are, we are definitely excited to have this treat, you know, here at Tacos Los Barrios. Uh, we're here with one of the owners. Uh, this is Jorge. So just tell everybody seriously, like, how did this, how did this all begin? So this all started with my dad. Um, he's always been having like these little get togethers with family and stuff. And just them being nice to us, I, I think, or, or being honest, <laughs> I guess, they gave us like, uh, the idea, like, you guys should sell it, you guys should sell it, you guys should sell it. And, uh, you know, my mom and I come from cooking background, but more so her than me. And then, uh, sure enough, yeah, we started inviting friends and family and actually getting recipes down. And then, uh, then we introduced the quesadilla. We didn't have that to begin with. I remember grand opening, I thought it was going to be the slowest day ever. And it, we had a line from the truck to the pump over on Craig and Simmons. I was cashiering, and then after that, I jumped on the line. And they can tell you, I don't really cook as much. I, I do come from cooking background, but more so than not, I burn water. <laughs> so, so it's not, I'm not the best, you know? But, but uh, everyone here does a great job. My dad does a great job. The staff is trained by one of the family members anyway. So once we get the routine down, then we can leave them alone and really get that process. Whoa, is this the best pizza in Vegas? Absolutely. I love like the decor, the ambiance, oh, and as so a matter of cool. fact, I mean, look what we're sitting in like our own little private booth, which yes. is kind of nice that they sat us here with a really fancy mirror, a chandelier, and of course, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Exactly. Like it's like a little smooch booth. It's a yeah. smooch booth. Smooch in with pizza. With pizza. <laughs> so let's talk about what we got here. Oh, what do yeah. you got over there? I just got a regular pepperoni slice, a kind of New York style thin slice pizza. That does look nice. Looks good. Looks really nice. You know, nice thin crust. Um, Looks nice and crispy too. Really good. Looks really good. So I asked him, what is the best pizza here? He said, this is the Detroit pizza. And boy, it's bigger than I thought. Oh, yeah. I thought it was going to be a nice little slice, but look at that. But interestingly enough, the marinara sauce that's put on top, uh, that's separate. You can get that in addition to, it doesn't come with it. It's actually three different type of cheeses. It looks like it's got some pepperoni around the outside. Ooh. It's a lot of goodness going on there. And of course, with the pizza, you gotta, you gotta have, have that the fruit. Beer. Yeah. And they got some great local beers here too. Oh yeah. Right? Here we go. That's really good. Really kind of not, you know, nice thin slice, crispy. I like how it's not too greasy too. Um, sometimes That's you get sometimes you get pepperoni and everything's like soft oh. up. You gotta like bring napkins and sop it exactly. all up. Exactly. My gosh, is this humongous? All right, here we go. Sounds good. It is good. Wow. I mean, you can really taste the three cheeses that they have in there. Wow. There's three different cheeses that's put onto this. The marinara sauce is a really nice topping. I would certainly go for it. I think if you don't have the marinara sauce with those three cheeses, it would be super salty. Hmm. You know what? I think that gives it a nice kind of dynamic. You got the little pepperonis around the side, a really thick crust. Very, very good. I will try that. Switch it up. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can cut through this thing. It's like a... Mm. 
This has like multiple layers in it. You ain't kidding. Like, my I mean, goodness gracious. Like, it's a lot of work just to get a, a little piece of that. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. It's hard to compare deep dish to thin slice. Absolutely. But like, are you a deep dish girl or are you a thin slice girl? I think, honestly. Or is that not a fair comparison? It's not a fair comparison, but I am definitely more of a thin slice. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you. Sure. What do you think of this place? Well, what do you think? <laughs> so this cheap beat, you guys, a lot of people love, especially if you love pizza. This is at the Cosmopolitan. It's called Shh Secret Pizza, located on the third floor of the Cosmopolitan. Just walk through the wall of old records to that delicious slice of pizza. And it smells really good right now, so let's go eat. Ooh, so we opted for the perfect New York style pepperoni slice here. Now, $6.50 is what the traditional cheese slice goes for here. But with one topping, it's $7.50. But they have never, look at that, never go wrong. Oh yeah, never disappointed. Never disappoint. Oh, now we're part of the cool kids, you guys. If you come to Secret Pizza, look for that right there. Oh, we're on it. You see us? We're right there. Look for that sticker. Take a picture and tag us in it. Hashtag Turned Up World. Ooh. So Papa Pizza has been here for about six years now. We're, it's, it's really nice that we got a couple of nice little slices, little variations, and of course, they said their wings are delicious. So got some wings, garlic knots, which we saw making fresh in there, barbecue sauce, ranch dressing, buffalo sauce. Oh, you got some sauces. Uh, got a lot of sauces. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. feeling saucy. I got uh, just New York style crispy pepperoni. And then also pepperoni with some jalapeno. Jalapenos. You may have to try a bite of this one. But you love jalapeno. Yeah, good. I'm gonna let you work the jalapeno. All right. Not bad. I would say my wings were a little dry, but that pizza was really good. Yeah, the pizza was good. Pepperoni was good, but the highlight was definitely the Sicilian style specialty here jalapeno and pepperoni, and that's very good. stopped into one of our little cool spots here called Evil Pie right on Fremont Street because we are hungry after all this walking all day long. Why not stop into a couple of cool places or this place here for a slice of pizza. Yum yum. for you guys this place is absolutely beautiful and I'm looking forward to some really interesting things here one they're really known already for those fish oh yeah they ship the fish in daily effectively so the fish is super fresh it's gonna be some good eating yeah and as a matter of fact I think we can actually get a little education on some of those fishes over there yeah I think so should we go take a look I think you should right, but first we gotta start off with a little wine. Now usually we do old fashions. Right. But we're going with uh this is just fish and fish and fish. Might as well go with the white wine, right? It's crispy little white wine. Crispy white. Night. Cheers. Cheers. So one of my favorites is actually gonna be the Thai snappers up top. Very popular in Japan for weddings, anniversaries and such. So meaning that it's gonna have a lot of flavor for that flesh, but still you can bite into it, it's gonna be larger flakes on that one. Then we have our golden snappers here from New Zealand. Now these are great, a little bit more delicate than the Thai snappers. 
Nice overall sweetness, very delicate. Almost not in mouth kind of situation for that there. And then next door, you were mentioning about the grouper. Well, we have the black bass. It's gonna be similar. Nice, a little bit more delicate than a grouper, but has a lot of fat content, so it's gonna be nice, buttery, creamy, full flavor there. Yes, and actually this one's gonna be Chef Bobby's favorite fish that he loves the most. Yeah. And then we have our turbo, like I explained a little bit earlier ago. Very similar to like a flounder or a halibut. Creamy, very delicate, nice bite to it, but still a little bit of flakiness as well. We have the carabinero prawns. Now these I recommend with like add on to a pasta, entree, or even uh, with a steak. If you want a nice surf and turf situation. Yeah, these are huge. Full flavor, we're gonna cook these with the, uh, with the uh, shell salon, so that way we get all those flavors, all those juices. And a lot of people do compare this with like a lobster because that tells me on the firmer side, but still very buttery, cool flavor. Mm. Yeah, very wonderful flavor. Well, that was impressive. That was right? super cool. Yeah, pretty amazing display, and I think I know what we may be getting. I think I know what you're thinking. Oh yeah? Yeah. What do you think that is? Mm. If I am correct, pass me that little thing over there. Here we go. There. Got a few lists here. Kind of gives you here. like a list here. List of the available fish. So there's fish. the black bass, the Thai snapper, the bronzino, the red snapper, the turbo, striped bass, golden snapper, and uh, carabinero shrimp. Right. I think it is the turbo. Yes, we love, yeah, yeah you got it. We, um, and we're thinking the filet, yeah. the turbo filet. We love sole, oh Dover sole in particular, gosh. and turbo is like that quite a bit, you yeah. know? And so we're excited to try that here. Yeah, now they do, it takes a little time to prepare it. They're gonna kind of open it up, filet it, all that great stuff, so it takes some time. So we are gonna start off with some appetizers, and two in particular right now, and uh, yeah, both came highly recommended. Highly too, recommended. As well, so. so, and we've never had this. So, one is the charred octopus, which is super, it looks amazing. It's already here, by the way. Um, super amazing. It's got, um, it's about 26 for that one. And I believe the soft scrambled egg, which I've never heard of. Soft, I know, scrambled, soft egg. scrambled egg. That's like a brunch item yeah. or breakfast item. Yeah, on toast. But hey, this is and no. tomato. No, this is a Malfi by Bobby Flay. I know. Style. It, gets, it gets extra creative up yes. in here. And that one is actually at $19. So I think yeah, we're without hungry. further ado, we're ready to dive in. All right, so first up, charred octopus. All right, here we go. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, well, I think you should have the first bite and let me know what you think. Okay. It's definitely your jam. Okay, all right. Give it a shot. All well, right. I tell you, it smell, smells and looks really good. And you gotta try it with the shishito. Yeah, shishito peppers are a must. Love shishito peppers. You do. Yeah. Mmm. That, that's a big yes right there. That was almost like a wow. Incredible. Yeah, that, right? Exactly. <laughs> that right there is getting four Turn It Up World bobbleheads right there. Ooh, bobbleheads. Four. That's nice. good. I think you might like Excellent. to give it a shot. And that's four out of four? Four, four to five. five. Four to five, okay. Four to five. Here we go, give it a shot. Gotta get some of the shishito. Perfect. It's a perfect spot. Nice and charred flavor. Mm. Got that little charred, it's a little citrusy and lemony and... Yeah, I love the charred. You really, you can really taste the flame on that. I mean, that just jumps right out at you. Very tender. It is tender. Very nice. I was afraid kind of a dog might be a little rubbery at all, but not at all. No. It is excellent. And the, that char just kind of comes right through it. Sounds you. like a wow. Wow! wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. No, it's good. It's actually very good. Yeah. Recommended, and it's definitely an odd one. Soft scrambled <laughs> eggs, right, with uh, garlic toast. Well, some roasted garlic and some nice toast as well. Uh, I'm really curious about it. Want to give it a try? 
he uh, hooked me up. Absolutely. I'm going to kind of scoop on, scoop some of this soft uh, scrambled right on there it's for almost, you. It almost looks grits like. I know. Right? Yeah, I bet you it's really, really yummy. Let me get some of this uh, good old stuff on there. Not sure Thank you. what everything is. There we go. Awesome. Come on in. Thank you. Grab one yourself. Let's do this together. Let's do it. Yeah. The texture looks really neat. All right. It smells fresh. Let's do it. Mm, cheers. Mmm. 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 Good. Mm. That when they say soft scramble, they mean soft scramble. Very soft. Super, super creamy. And the toast, you know, is not tough biting through at all. Kind of a nice flavor on it. It's good. I like it. I like the the contrast with the the crunch from the bread, a little yeah. bit of that tomato, the roasted garlic is in there as well. That's yeah, good. And that really does remind me of like a tasty grit. It's yeah, like, it's like right? a scram I don't know, it's, it reminds me of grits. If you know what grits are, if you don't, I think you're right. It's really good. It has like a really kind of creamy yeah. uh, texture to it. That's actually delicious. Can I just tell you, this is really off to a great start right now. It is. Cheers. Cheers, baby. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Alfie chopped salad. Ooh, love chopped salad. Yeah, we love chopped salad. It looks very good as well. We're excited to uh, jump into it. Some uh, lemon vinaigrette that comes with. I'm just ready to dive ready in. Ready to dive in. Let's do it. Oh, look at that. Is that a... Oh, nice. Red leaf lettuce. Yeah. Chickpeas in there. Mm. Right, yeah. Mmm. Super fresh. Yeah, it's funny. I was gonna put it in one word. Refreshing. <laughs> yeah, I would say it kind of has that coastal Italian, just kind of fresh chopped salad, right? Just everything tastes very good. I love the lemon kind of vibe. Yeah. And the lemon vinaigrette coming out of there. The chickpeas, the variations of lettuce. It just, you're right. That one word says it all. Refreshing. <laughs> it's very good. I'm gonna dive on and have some more. So the turbo has arrived. Yum yum, give me some. Yeah, excited to dive in. I am. I know there's a couple sauces to go with it, but I think the tradition, like we like to do, you know, try it. Without the sauce first, okay. Exactly. You ready to dive in? I'm ready. Good. Ooh, that flavor. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. That was good by you. That is nice. It has a firm taste to it. The taste of seasoning, the oil, the butter. Um, Pretty nice. Yeah, no, it's very nice. No, I'll tell you, it's a, definitely a firmer fish than, say, the Dover Sole, right? Uh, but it's good. It's very good. And I'm excited to try some of the sauces with it Yeah. as well. Yeah. And I think I may try the Salsa Verde nice. sauce to start. I like that. Oh, you like to try? I think we'll try that as well. Okay, good. I'm curious to see what that one's like. Yeah. But it looks really, it has like a really rich aroma to it. Right. Ooh, that smells really good. Yeah, I'm going to put some on there. Olive oil. Oh man, that looks awesome. Put that on there. That looks awesome. Oh. Mm. Mm. A little bit goes a long way. A lot that goes a long way too. Goes a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's really refreshing. It brings an additional dynamic. It kind of brings out the freshness of the fish, right? You kind of have the cooked fish, but. Uh, that salsa verde is excellent on there. Nice. I'm going to yep. try the uh, next one. I, yeah. I can't remember what it is. It's more like a lemony. Yeah, it's a lemon uh, paper. 
You know, basically, it's a Meyer lemon paper Ooh. sauce. Yeah. I like paper. Yeah, that sauce. We put that on there. Fill that right up. Oh, that's my favorite so far. That is okay. Let's try mm -hmm. that one. That adds a really creamy texture to it. The capers has a nice little, mm. almost a lemony mm. kind of tang to it. Oh my goodness. That makes it extra buttery. Mm. That is excellent. That's my jam. Boom. I That's love that jam. too. That's my jam. That I, one gets right there. I, I need more. Gets. I just want to pour it all over it. Five. That's a five star sauce. Five turn it up world bobbleheads. That Meyer lemon paper sauce. Five turn it up world bobbleheads. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> Let's give this third one a shot. Now, yeah. they said this one's kind of yeah, the richest is, of them all. Yeah, red pepper, kind of a chili pesto sauce. Ooh, so that's gonna be, that's like the boldest one of them yeah, all. Yeah, we'll give it a shot here. Let's give it a shot. Red pesto, I like. The chili makes me nervous. Right. That sounds know. like it might feel spicy. Right, I'm not sure any of it's super hot. It's just, let's see. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. It is spicy. That's good. There's a little, there's a little kick to that. Kick to it, yeah. That is good. Mm. You definitely taste the, the red pepper yeah. and the chili. Kind of creeps up on you. You so do. It's that's good. That's really good. It's a nice sauce. Yeah. I, and I, I, I got to say, though, that uh, lemon paper is spot on for this. It's really it's a great match for the turbo filet. Yeah. It's I very agree. good, yeah. It's time for us to. I'm Turbo on, in. on into this exactly. Yeah. <laughs>
That is really good. Oh, she nailed it. That tastes... I can't even explain it. It has a cornbread vibe. It almost feels soaked in like a little bit of a peaches and lemon and the the whip ricotta. Yeah, the whip ricotta is amazing. And the almond pieces. Yeah, really good. You're gonna like it. I gotta feed you. Feed I gotta me. feed you. No, I'm getting a good piece. Oh, there it is. Yes. I'm gonna add you. And yes, I'm you ready? Yeah. Okay, as per always, I am so stuffed. I am so stuffed. Well, let me ask you. Sure. So, what do you think of this place? Well, what do you think? <laughs> Overall, that was a fun experience dining here at uh, Amalfi by Bobby Flay. Yeah, and a really a great place. Now, certainly not cheap. No. Right? Not, not cheap, but a great experience, amazing service, great seafood, and pasta, too. Yeah, and the yeah. dessert was a nice little icing on the cake. So, highly recommend giving this place a shot if you're going to be in town. I'm ready to place my order for today. Um, I'm really excited to, to dive into some fish and chips. Um, oh, wait, wait. Oh, there he is. Look at this snack. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hello. I knew we were coming today. How are you? This is Glenn. He is the owner of The Codfather. We've eaten here many times, and every time the food has been consistent. And you love us, don't you? I do love you. <laughs> I've got the stickers on. If you guys come to The Codfather, make sure you take a photo of that sticker and tag us in it, and yeah. you might get some free um, swishy peas. <laughs> <laughs> Not your first time here? Not at all. Yeah, so what here. do you think about the uh, fish and chips at Codfather? Well, you know what? It's the most authentic fish and chips you're going to find in Las Vegas. So what's your favorite? The favorite is exactly what's on my plate. Yep. Fish, chips, and the curry sauce. And the curry sauce. That's me. Mm. I love the mushy peas, though. Yeah. yeah. The curry see, sauce, it is it. I see she's got the mushy peas. Oh, yeah. She's got the mushy see, peas. I grew up in New York, but oh. my mom is from, is from, she grew up in, in England, and let me tell you, you ain't getting this nowhere in the U.S. Much less bacon, okay? <laughs> so I think we want to have you guys really quickly talk to Glenn, the owner of The Codfather, because he's got quite an amazing story. And I do believe once you hear this, it's going to make your experience dining at The Codfather that much more authentic. I'm Glenn. I'm on The Codfather in, in Henderson. I've been in Vegas for 12 years. This place I opened mid-COVID 2020. Wow. So it's been nearly three years, middle of a pandemic, like everybody else, suffering. But we managed to do it, we opened it up. I think it was something different. It's a different food. It's a different concept of food. So, and it was always geared for takeout, so luckily we got we were able to, you know, do the takeout thing. And where are you originally from? Sheffield in England. Sheffield, England. To All Vegas. of the fish and chips, darling. <laughs> so what's your most popular menu item? The cod and chips. That's the, the classic chips. fish and chips. It's a beautiful, nice big piece of cod. Chips are hand cut. Fresh potato every day. Now I can't tell you where he gets the fish. <laughs> That's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> Swimming with the fish. Mm. Uh, thank you. Ketchup. Salt and vinegar. This is the Sheffield fish. Sheffield. Ooh, Sheffield. Sheffield been my hometown. 
two slices of potato, fish between it, and then it's battered and deep fried. Oh. So it sounds where great. Used, mm. Where they used to get rid of the, used the scraps of potato and the scraps of fish. Oh. So we have an assortment of things here. Some of the top and very favorite ones are the haddock and chips, the cod and chips. The haddock is more of that beefier fish, a little sweeter. And of course, we had to get the Sheffield fish cake, which is fish breaded between two potatoes uh, and deep fried. Have to try this spam and of course the sausage and a, an assortment of things. I'm excited to dive in. Man. I, this place is always great and we're starving. Absolutely. Let's eat. Now, this, a nice piece. Yeah, this haddock is so tender. Of course, you love your tartar. Yeah, I'm a tartar oh, fan. That is the biggest bite I've ever seen you take. That's because it's that mm. good. I'm ready for that. Uh -huh. I'm ready for that. Oh, I'm ready for that. I'm kind of just ready. I've never had spam served like that before. Right. Fried spam. It's spam. It's actually quite delicious. If you didn't tell me it was spam, I wouldn't have known it was spam. <laughs> it's very good. I think you could actually use a little bit of the vinegar on there. It will enhance the flavor, but that is dynamite. Mm. What, babe? What? I think the only thing I can think of better than sausage mm -hmm. is fried sausage. Oh, fried sausage and gravy. And gravy. Ooh. Wow, the face says it all. That was good. That is good. That's like potatoes and fish. Exactly what it is. <laughs> it's so good. So, babe, out of all the excitement, we forgot to share roughly what the cost of eating at the Codfather is. So, I think we should uh, probably tell them. Why don't you tell them about it? Oh, you're right, babe. So, the cod and chips with a soda, that's fifteen fifty. If you go for the haddock and chips with a soda, that's seventeen fifty. Mm. Once again, I'm feeling a bit of stuff to hear. The Codfather does justice to me one more time. Mmm, now I feel like I, uh, I need a bit of a nap. Welcome to Viva here at Resorts World. I'm so excited. This is going to be a great night. I'm so excited to see what this menu has to offer. Yeah, we love Mexican food and tapas yummy. too. And yummy food. <laughs> <laughs> super excited. Let me tell you, being the first in and having our waiter, Eduardo, just talk about some of the dishes. I am so excited to try this. No, it sounds, everything sounds excellent. Now, it's really kind of a modern, contemporary Mexican. Some classic dishes. Everything with a little, little bit of a twist, though. Yes. That sounds great. We're going to start out with some ceviche, which oh, Tanya loves. I yeah. love ceviche. I'm looking forward to seeing their spin on ceviche. And also with that, we're going to get an heirloom tomato salad. It just sounded very fresh. Should be nice, nice freshness to bring to the table after yeah, that. Yeah, and then for our main platter, we're actually going with the chicharron, which is sort of this sort of crispy skin and slow roasted pork. And of course, they're gonna have those in-house made tortillas to kind of really complement that so we can make some tacos. Yeah, that sounds amazing. And for a side, they have these esquites yes! that actually have bone marrow as well on top. That sounds pretty amazing. It, it really does. And if, but before we get started with all of that, they're gonna bring up what they call their new old fashioned Ooh. out. This is the king of old fashions right here. And we're super stoked. And I'm looking forward to becoming the queen of the new old fashions. I'm ready for it. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. One thing I want to mention before we kind of really dive into this. So to give you an idea of our prices here, yeah, because that makes it sense. is yeah. Vegas. So the new old fashioned is going to be $15 for that new old fashioned. So it's not certainly a cheap drink, but that's pretty much common around the Las Vegas Strip for drink prices. Yeah, exactly. Should we go through the other uh, prices as well? Yeah, exactly. Okay. The ceviche is $22. Mm -hmm. Right, the heirloom tomato salad is $15. Yes. Right, and then of course the chicharron, and now it's shareable. Exactly. Right, and it's $47 yeah. for the chicharron. So you'll see the size when they bring it out. Yeah, and what they said with the chicharron is it's a pound of meat. So it's a That's good true. portion so amount should, of yeah, meat should to be share a lot. with two people. And the esquites, I believe, are $13 as well, so. Oh my goodness gracious, this looks amazing. Right? Ceviche, sure. one of my favorite dishes. And it just has such a nice aroma. It does. Are you excited? 
I'm excited. I'm excited for you to try <laughs> that out. I'm excited, I'm excited for Tanya. Try it out. All right. So should we try it by itself first before we kind of put it on this little toast? Sure. Give it a shot. Really give you it a kick shot. it off. You kick it off. Oh, look at that cucumber in there with the red onion in the sauce. All right, here we go. See what you think. Mm. That's a good reaction. Oh my goodness. That is so good. It's so refreshing. Mm. I like the cucumber. There's a little spice, you're gonna like that. Oh good. The red onion, it doesn't have a, a fishy taste like you would get. And what's in the sauce? Taste. What's in the sauce there? I'm not sure, but that sauce is dynamite. It's got a nice sort of take texture to it. I would say, key word we always use, it's refreshing. I'm gonna tell you right now, pass me that menu. Sure, here you go. I'm gonna jump in, try it out. Try it out. Mm. Oh, it's leche de tigre. Mm. It's like a milk of a tiger. Mm. Tiger milk. That's, that's right? excellent. And by the way, we got our old fashions. Yes! All right. Cheers, my love. Cheers to a great night. Mm. Oh, wow. You can taste the, you can really oh, taste that mezcal. Mezcal. There's mezcal in here as well, and it's smoky. That is yeah. a Viva spin. Oh yeah. That, this is definitely like a new old fashioned. Oh yeah. Because of the fact that it's not, usually old fashions, if you guys are familiar, has more of a whiskey bourbon. Yeah. This has a little mezcal mix in that as well, that flavor. Yeah, that mezcal jumps out at you for sure. Smokiness, actually very good. If you like mezcal, this is a nice old fashioned to try here at Viva. talk to you briefly about some of the, the concept behind this. So we actually spoke with one of the owners and he said like the inspiration behind this beautiful place in here, from the mural of the artwork to the fixtures, has like sort of a Tulum meets Oaxaca and some other regions of Mexico. It's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, no, it's very nice in here. They have a great patio area too. We're gonna show you that after the meal, so stay tuned for that. We love the patio. The heirloom tomato salad has arrived and it looks like a work of art. There's a lot of kind of cool stuff in there. You have, of course, the fresh heirloom tomatoes, some nice basil, some red onion. You have some hearts of palm, shaped as a hearts of palm, yes. as well as some of that what, watermelon oh, radish nice. as well. And a nice vinaigrette, yeah, it's good. It's like a lemon vinaigrette, so it's got a little bit of a twang to it. I think we should try this. Let me jump this right in. amazing Give me a shot. Yum, yum, give me some. I can get a little bit of this. Oh, yeah, the avocado. Oh my god, I want some of that creamy avocado. Love the creamy avocado. Mm. Mm. Refreshing. That's what it is. Incredibly refreshing. Everything is absolutely fresh. I love those heirloom tomatoes. I kind of had more of a cherry tomato on that one. I didn't really have the more meatier one, the, kind of the beefsteak tomato, but uh, excellent. I mean, everything blends together nicely. That vinaigrette is is nice. I like that. Yeah, I add the heirloom tomato mix with that, and you nailed it. Absolutely refreshing. Like the, the softness of the tomato, the lemon vinaigrette, which gave like a little bit of a twang, the, the uh, watermelon radish, it was like, so delicious. And of course, the onion just gave it this nice little flavor. Ooh, nice choice uh, on that I'm, salad. I'm ready, I'm ready to eat some more. Wow, okay, so this here, next up, you guys, is Viva's presentation and their version of Esquite. Yeah. It looks amazing. Yeah. And all I can say is wow, it smells incredible. 
And we're used to kind of that Mexico City esquite where it's in a cup with some like mayo in the corn and all that, which is great. But this is incredible with the bone marrow, the butter, everything. It smells so good. It's probably going to be so creamy. I'm so excited and I'm ready to find out. Ready? Let's dive in. Oh wow. my gosh. My goodness. Cheers. Ooh, you got a jalapeno. I like it. There's some spice to it. Woo! Spicy. Woo! Oh. <laughs> spicy. Excuse me. <laughs> Woo! So what do you think? <laughs> spicy, spicy. Oh. I'm just getting my voice back. That is great though. Highly right. If you like spicy, there are serrano peppers in there and they're they'll kind of uh Knock it pretty good. That was yeah. great. I love it. It's a super creamy, buttery. Oh man, that bone marrow fat in there, excellent. Yeah, I actually got a good. Kick. I got a good piece yeah. of that yeah. bone marrow. I never like yeah. that. The fat from the bone marrow just kind of melted in your mouth. And of course, you had like the corn. A little bit. I had a little bit of the spice, which gave a little enhancement. I didn't actually go for that serrano pepper like Dave did. Oh yeah, that's good. It was though. So good. I'm still burning a little bit, but excellent. Highly recommend it. Chicharron. It looks absolutely delicious, like hard, crunchy, sort of outer layer in that like nice juices. Yeah. It looks amazing. And of course you got those blue corn yeah. tortillas. Yeah. Kind of nice little uh, homemade corn tortillas. So we uh, try to have a little tortilla on the Let's plate. Let's slice them up. I got you. There you I go. Got you. Look at that. Oh, nice. steamy blue hot. Blue corn tortilla. Blue corn tortilla. All right, let's chop this up. Look how that breaks apart, David. It's a little cut out. Nice fatty piece here. What's that fatty piece? Oh, we'll have whatever we got. Throw it right in there. All right. Look at that topping. Pour it right in there. Maybe I'll try some of this on top. That looks amazing. It's a nice piece of pork, like a pound of pork. It has That's a amazing. lot here, yes. I love that crispy skin served in like this cast iron plate. Ah! Oh, here we go. Salsa tatemada is a roasted heirloom tomato salsa. Oh, roasted heirloom tomato. Yeah, roasted heirloom tomato. Looks good. Like some? I would love some. Want to scoop some out for you? That looks amazing. Yeah. Now, is it spicy? It is spicy. Ah, a little spicy, okay. What type of pepper is in this one? Those are uh, chili, chili de arbol and chili serrano. So oh, okay, so serrano. Ah, uh, okay. Oh my. Well, I might as well start sweating. <laughs> Cheers, baby. Mm. Mm, that is so good. That is so good. Wow. Mm. It's an amazing blend of flavors. Probably savory. I mean that the chicharron, nice kind of crispy, fatty, great flavor, incredibly juicy, and then kind of that crispiness, right? And, and what's in this exactly? You got kind of some. Um, it's like almost like a think like a coleslaw type mm -hmm. vibe. You got the cabbage, the red cabbage, the tomatoes, cilantro. So it got that nice extra crunch yeah, on that top of the already crispy skin of yeah, that. A lot, I, and I love the crunch, and then of course the uh, yeah. this the salsa, spicy salsa. spicy salsa is very good. Yum mm. yum! Give me some more. <laughs> If you are curious about Brew Dog and where it's located, it's actually right inside the same building as the new Olive Garden, the Target area at the Showcase. And that's where we're headed right now. All right, let's go. Looks like we have to head to the second floor. Mm -hmm. Heading to three. Heading to three.
Here we go. Ooh. Ah, see, it's nice and quiet. Well, welcome, welcome, babe. I mean, you got the blue booth. I mean, how, how much exactly. fancier can you get at Brew Dog than a, yeah. a blue brew booth? It's very nice. I actually really like it here. Kind of a cool, cool environment. Yeah. I think it's a great addition to the strip. Yeah, you go walking in, it's multiple levels, and there's like a whole row of like just many different beers down there. And I think it's 96 beers that they have here. Some downstairs, wow. some up here, but like 96. Yeah, I'm ready to try a flight. Let's try a whole bunch. What do you say? Oh, flight. Let's try some beers. Fly away. Fly away. Fly away. <laughs> All right, babe, so our beer flight has arrived. I know. Right. It looks really good. It's kind of cool, too. It comes with a handy little cheat sheet here. So the beer oh. you have in the order, you have what the first one's called Light Speed. Light Speed. Right. Punk IPA. Ooh. Right. Elvis Juice. Oh, I like the name of that one. Elvis Juice. Yeah, very cool. Uh-huh, baby. All right. All right, so start with, babe. Cheers it up. Cheers, baby. Mm, that's really good. Ooh, that is really tasty. We heard from one of the staff members here that you can actually taste as many beers as you like. There's like Which taste testing cool. as many beers as you like so that you get the right one versus getting something you don't like. So it's like unlimited uh, in terms of trying out whatever beers you want to try out. So you can get a taste of them all if you like. <laughs> exactly. All 96. What's your favorite? Elvis juice. Really? I like the Elvis juice. Interesting. Mm. She likes the Elvis mm. juice. I think it just has a nice little kind of blend of like flavor and it, I, I don't know. It kind of, it kind of has that vibe of Elvis. Maybe that's what it nice. is. It's the Elvis juice. <laughs> I thought you'd like it more than me. Oh, they're all good. I'm going to drink it now. Let's start drinking here. Cheers. Cheers, baby. So a great night at BrewDog. So we plated the uh, gunpowder shrimp, kind of the way they recommended here. Yes. As well, kind of layered everything all together. Yeah, and it's really nice. I just want to make sure we get it right. So the gunpowder shrimp, so you guys know, it's part of the grazing menu. A lot of these things here that we're having tonight are for the elevated dining experience. So if you're on the second floor, or actually a third floor, technically, right. um, it's kind of the elevated dining experience. So the gunpowder shrimp, which we have here, it's a $45 uh, kind of a grazing, they call it. Grazing. And it's got spicy king shrimp prawn crackers, and a fiery chili sauce. That sounds so good. So it sounds spicy. It sounds like it get ready for some, some drama and love in that one, but I don't know. All right, Should we give good. it a shot? I think so. And it comes with, these are like uh, seafood chips, like shrimp chips. Right, that's cool. So you got giant sized shrimp, shrimp chips. Cut a little bit, mm. Let me throw it in there. Oh, there it goes, runaway shrimp. Oh my God. That's picking up. There we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. Mm. Mm. It definitely is fiery. You got the spice kind of coming right out through that sauce, which Ooh. is like a sweet sauce oh, yeah. as well. There's some spice in there. I like it. All right, my dear, so next up is the Bang Bang Chicken. And it's crispy Korean tenders, jalapeno, and apple slaw mixed with it. And I know you already dived into a little bit yeah, of no that. Comment. I'll let you try it. What do you think? <laughs> I jumped in. That's okay. We do it together. I'll take this little piece here. All right. I gotta definitely try and mix with some of that yeah, slaw. Put the slaw. Let's make right a little. In there. This is a brewery, so you know you can you can messy. have a little fun with this, right? Plenty of napkins. <laughs> All right. Mmm. Not good. So that right there, you guys, mm. Mm, is delicious. And I think it's sixteen dollars for this one right here. But these are just dine no my. Dine my. <laughs> All right, so you're up, babe. Look at this teeny little beanie beanie. Little. What's that? A it's like a lobster. It's a taco. lobster taco. It's like jam packed with lobster meat on this small little sort of like looks like a corn tortilla. That one right there, I'm gonna just tell you about that really quick. So it's fresh Maine lobster, avocado, green onion, and a lobster sauce. 
And that one is actually a really nice one too. It has uh, 16 bucks for that little starter. And it comes with one, one little one here pack of lobster. So it's one, gonna, lo one, loaded, one uh, fully loaded taco. taco. Yeah. Good luck with this one. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Mm. Well, I like that look. That is really That's good. good huh? Wow. Oh, there is so much flavor coming out of that. Is that they already squeezed like lime. It's got like a tanginess to it. A lobster is just so meaty. I think you would definitely like that. I'm trying it. Okay. <laughs> Give it a shot. Throw down and chow that, it. That claw's jumping out of me right now. You need to bite it before it bites you. Mmm. That's really good. Awesome flavors. So what are, you right. thinking, what, so what are you thinking for the main course, man? So for the main event here, we're going to go for one of the burgers. And one of their most popular burgers here on the menu, actually the most fancy, is the Wagyu burger. Now it's $150. It's an eight ounce Wagyu beef, caramelized onions, six year mature cheddar, and freshly grated Italian black truffle. And it's gonna be, it's gonna come served in a, s a special way. I'm excited to see what that special way is. But then also one of the larger plates which is recommended is the lobster mac and cheese. And then the mac and cheese, lobster mac and cheese, which again is the fresh main lobster, lobster bis sauce, uh, baby rigatoni, grilled garlic and herb toast. That's gonna be $52 for that. Oh, All right, big moment coming okay, up here. This moment. is the grand, uh, Grand moment here. Here we go. Look at that. Now that's one hell of a Wagyu burger. Oh my god. That is crazy. All right, babe. So you ready to try the crown jewel? I am definitely ready. Are you ready? You bet your life I'm ready. Wow. That was a bite. Oh, my turn. Caramelized onion, six years aged cheese, made to perfection. Oh. Whew, I gotta tell you, babe, the Wagyu beef is so tender and juicy. It is, you really taste a difference in that for sure. And of course, that aged cheddar jumps out at you as well, six year age. And we got you know, the truffle and the caramelized onions, that whole blend of flavors. It's pretty good. You gotta hand it to them. Very good. I'm ready. Definitely taste the lobster in that one. Mm. Now, they have something here at BrewDog on Wednesdays. It's Wings Wednesday, so you call and make a reservation. It's unlimited wings, either cauliflower wings or traditional wings at 30 bucks. And once you devour your wings and all that great stuff, if you want a dessert, you can have a dessert. But you have an opportunity to get it for free. Now, there's a dice in here, and you gotta roll a six. If you roll a six, your dessert is free. If you don't, it's not free. Lucky so let, let's see what we got here. Come on, come on, six. There it is, right there. Perfect. <laughs> wow, this is gonna. Mm. You're gonna love this. All right. You're really gonna love this. But that is it. It's like their milkshake. I love how they have like these little like Oreos around the edge. <laughs> now when you're at brew dog you've got to make sure you come up to the top roof here go outside and just check out the view because this is one of the best views on the las vegas trip i mean take a look at this view guys Okay, I am so stuffed after having that Wagyu burger, that mac and cheese, and plus all the other dishes. What a great time here. It's amazing. Oh, I know, it's been amazing. Thanks for everyone here at BrewDog Thank for you. a wonderful night. Really appreciate it. We really do. Hey, you know what? We are definitely coming back because I have about 96 beers still to try. <laughs> We're just getting started. <laughs> Wow, it's actually uh, really packed 
and busy in here tonight, right? Oh, it is so packed. And it's definitely loud. Yeah, well, this is a different section. We're usually like in the back by the window, but it's kind of last minute, so I'm just happy that we're able to get a table in here. And now we can actually watch them work in the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, look at the chefs. Very easily. The teams are pretty. Oh, I don't know. I'm just really hungry, so I'm sure we're going to start with some cocktails. Absolutely. And make an experience. High five, bye. High five, baby. I want to say cheers, baby, to the most amazing wife, amazing woman. I love you so much. Oh, thank you. I love you so much. My incredible, amazing husband. Right, I love you so much. Yum, yum! Mmm. That's good. That is delicious. But this smoke on the boulevard is delicious. Okay, so babe, I gotta ask you this. Yes. What is your favorite dish here at Hell's Kitchen? Beef Wellington? No. No? No. My what? favorite of favorites here at Hell's Kitchen is what's right in front of me right now. Lobster or risotto with, you have to get it with the shaved truffles. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, uh, that is to die for. All right, I'm gonna just, just I gotta I'm take a bite. Minute. I gotta take a nice little bite here. Oh, just gotta. Oh, look at that truffle. Oh, look at those. Oh my goodness gracious. With the crispy onion. Without a doubt, that is my absolute favorite. And I know it's yours too. Let's dive in. Oh, I love the lobster risotto. It is awesome here. Doesn't that look amazing? Yeah, I'm not sure we've had it before. Never. It's the first time. So gray short rib, some crispy onion, with some potato, some like demi glaze on there. It looks and it smells. It smells so good. I know. I'm excited. Wow. Mm, really good. That looks really delicious. Mm. It's good. You're gonna love it. It's a really good dish. Yummy. Chocolate. You do. Ooh, I am stuffed. Oh, I am so stuffed. <laughs> it's really good. It was, it was excellent. Welcome to Din Tai Fung. We are so excited to be here, finally. Now, we already sat down here. They kind of prepped us briefly a little bit in terms of how it works. They do things more family style. They set a menu in place, and a lot of these look amazingly delicious. Our waitress, Carol, already said that the one of the favorite dumplings is the uh, pork Chow Long Bao. Yeah, definitely excited to try their famous two dumplings here. So it's we, gonna be fun. We really are. So I know there's some choice cocktails she mentions. You guys know we like to start with some cocktails. So that is up first while we figure out what the heck we're gonna eat. Voila, voila. This yes. is amazing. I, I like the presentation already of the cocktail. Um, I ended up getting, uh, just so you guys know, this is the pear lychee martini. And what's in it is basically pear vodka, elderberry, uh, lychee, orchid. It's just beautiful presentation. Another one of those drinks, it's like, That's you nice. know what? It's so pretty, I'm not sure I'm gonna drink it, but I am. <laughs> yeah, looks great. Yeah. 
And this is a DTF Old Fashioned mm. Japanese Whiskey. Mm. And uh, I'm gonna read this, it's Taiwanese Oolong Tea Syrup. Uh, and I, I've, I've cheated, I've had some, it tastes really good. Yeah. Right, and some orange bitters as well, but it's good. Yeah, you know what, I love the way that looks. I mean, you always get these wonderful cocktails and almost have like a classic presentation, yes. either with this sphere ice or a uh, uh, round, ice cube. or a, a, you know, yeah. a square ice cube. Well, let's give these a shot because the smell of these are rich in aroma. I'm, I'm dying to try this, cheers. Oh, mm. okay. Three words. That's my jam. Oh, nice. it's so good. I love like the lychee awesome. fruit. It's not super strong. The lychee's rich and fresh. Spot on delicious. I like this. Now this is, uh, for this cocktail, it's $16 for this drink. Yeah, and this is $16 as well. Mm. And um, you know, it's funny, it's very smooth and not too sweet. Mm -hmm. There's a sweetness to it with a syrup, but it's still, it's really good. Yeah, I love it. I, this is already gonna be feeling, beginning of a great night. Absolutely. Cheers. Mm. I tell you, that looks great. So, as you can see, we started with a cucumber salad before we jump into the soup dumplings, right? The dumplings are definitely the highlight here. But this looks great. Looking forward to that. Exactly. And we figured, you know, we're going to go with some more of their popular dumplings here to give them a shot. So I'm just going to read off the menu what we're getting. So when they come, we're going to dive right into yes. them. So we're going with what we talked about earlier was the uh, kurobota pork jalongbao, uh, a crab kurobota pork XLB, um, vegetable pork dumplings. We're going to basically go with the shrimp and pork dumplings. We're going with the chicken dumplings. Uh, shrimp, uh, pork shumai, and of course the sticky rice pork shumai, which those two are limited. Right. So they do run out of those, which are very, very popular. So I think this is really affordable. No, it seems really affordable. Yeah. And they do say you want to eat them right when they come out fresh. Yes. Right, so that's a challenge. You yeah. want to kind of come out and just dive right in. Yeah, you only got the... a couple seconds before they cool off. So right. get to challenge. Here we go. <laughs> so this should be fun. Now I I can use chopsticks to some degree. Oh, I know, good at it. I know Deva, David is not really a chopsticks per oh, person, no. but he's gonna give it a shot tonight, you guys. I'll so give it a shot for about 10 seconds. Here we go. I'll let you take the top one, since it might, one. might be a little easier to grab. Yeah, good luck. Oh, it's already <laughs> not working. It's not working. Oh, oh. I'm going to the, I'm back to the fork. All right. You ready? Uh oh, go for ready? it, you got it, I think you got it. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Mm. That right is delicious. Delicious. Really now, nice. The cucumbers I feel like they're using are the the ones we usually get. The long, skinny cucumbers. Right, very, very thin ones. Very right, seedless. Seedless, yeah. sweet. And nice. I think the dressing around it, mm. it's really refreshing. And there's it's nice like a, spice in it too. Nice spice. There's a little, you have a little kick of a spice. I feel the heat in that, which I like. It's good. I agree. It's nice. And it was the, the piece I picked up that was on top of it, you dropped it off. That was actually garlic. Oh, okay. I was just shaving a garlic. Yeah, I dropped it off. I dropped it, it off for you. You dropped it off <laughs> for me. But let me tell you, it dropped in my mouth, and boy, don't come near me with that garlic, because there's a lot of garlic right. in that bite. And what's in this? What's that? And that looks like it's probably just a red uh, pepper. Let me try that one. You try the red pepper one. I'll see if let's I can get that without like, Let's exploding. see if you can get that, you guys. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. All right. Give them a round of applause. Mm. First up is the right, so what, uh, the pork dumplings, pork jialong bao. Yes, the right. pork jialong bao, and they look wonderful. Yeah. Here we I, go. You ready to try this? We might yeah. just dive into them while they're hot. Yeah. I'm afraid I'm going to break it. I know. Oh, I did it. You're going to drop that in the sauce like so. Put that Ooh, right in the sauce. Thank you. You only got a couple in seconds in there. Right. I'm stick that on my spoon right. like so. You're going to Poke a little hole in like it, like soak the, oh, there she goes. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah. And you're gonna slurpy slurpy. Exactly. <laughs> Poke it all. There we uh, go. Are you ready to try yeah. that slurpy slurpy? Oh, there you go. This looks yeah. tough. I got some out there. Bugger. It's like me. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Oh, Here we go. I'm gonna try it left handed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Right, let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. That is so good. Mm. That is wonderful. Wow. Wonderful. The soup 
really does, mm. the flavors in that just really kind of hit your mouth. It's almost wow. like a surprise. It's like, like explosion of pow, surprise. Amazing. Delicious rice. Everything just tastes so fresh. The pork's incredible. And the soup inside, the dumpling. Wow. And how about that dumpling? Um, that dumpling oh, almost perfect. melts in your mouth. There's nothing this heavy is, about uh, that. I can understand the hype. This is really good. Yeah, and, and what wow. you do, again, with the sauce, um, yes. you got up, basically you take the dumpling, you put it into the sauce. For those that didn't know how to do this, we learned as well. Um, and in this sauce, which is ginger, they basically have three parts of the vinegar and one part of the soy. And then you drop that dumpling right on top of there to soak up a little bit of that flavor. You put it on the spoon, yes. you pop a little hole in it, and you slurp it up. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Dynamite. See, there's a little crab in there to let you know it's a crab. Yes, I love right? it. That is so cute. There you go. I think it's really good, but I, mm -hmm. I like the pork better. I'm, but, you know, I'm not as much into crab. Right, you definitely taste a lot of the crab mm -hmm. in there. Very strong crab flavor. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. I think in this case, the crab does have a little bit more of an overpowering sensation. Right. Um, you think you want to get that balance of pork and crab in there, but I feel in this case, the uh, pork is not as potent right. as the crab. A little bit more in there. And I can't get over how delicate the dumplings are and how they just melt in your mouth. I know. The dumpling itself. I know. Right. So you know what I'm going to do right now? What are you going to do? I'm going to let it go melt right in my mouth. Oh. There you go. Crap. I thought that was really good. Really, really good. There's a nice balance between the shrimp, nice little crunch, and the pork on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's got a good well-rounded well roundedness of flavors in there as well. Really nice, and the sauce is really good on top. No, I agree completely. It's, I think, well-rounded. The balance, perfect balance between the shrimp and the pork. With the crab, I felt the crab overpowered the pork, like you said. But in this one, they really, it tastes both equally. Equally. And it's really nice. Spot on delicious. Shrimp shumai. Come on home to mama. Come on home. <laughs> oh, okay. So I have an idea. Okay. So I think we've had quite a few dumplings. I think we have one or two more coming. Yeah. But maybe we should kind of talk about or just mention which is our least favorite and which one is our favorite. Yeah, I definitely have uh, some contenders right now. Yeah. For sure. Exactly. But uh, we need to kind of try the remaining few and then uh, we'll let you know. I know you're gonna like it. It's um, it's that nice blend of the pork and the shrimp. Nice yes. balance, really good. And plus the um, the broth, the soup that's in there, it's, it's really hot and it just kind of explodes in your mouth when you eat the dumpling. All right, so what is up next? I will tell you, first and foremost, I think I'm turning into a dumpling. Yes. We've had so many dumplings tonight. I think I'm thankful this is the last yeah. of the dumplings for the evening. So it looks amazing. Again, you have another shamai presentation, and this is a sticky rice and pork right. shamai. It looks good. It looks like a little tower from like a Super Mario game. Oh, man. Ooh. I know. I'm getting those dumpling sweats. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a twist, if you will. Like I thought I'd have like a rice, you know, pork kind of combination. Mm -hmm. It didn't taste like it at all. I feel like it's mostly rice and I'm missing the pork. It tastes like a lot of rice. Um, also tasted drier. Yes. I didn't taste that soup broth in there. I think it all. I think the rice absorbed all that. Yes, good right? point. Right. So it did surprise me a bit. Mm -hmm. And I agree. I thought it'd be a little bit less rice, more pork combo. 
with the soup, but it was very much like a rice dumpling. Yes. Right? So this is one I feel you might want to put a little bit extra sauce on there for sure. And that may not be all of them, but the first two are obviously the ones right. that we had, had a little bit of a, a little drier taste to yeah. them. Yeah, but I'm still going to dig in. Let's wrap this up. You ready? Absolutely. I'm ready. <laughs> oh. So what's better than having uh, dumplings for dinner? Uh, I don't know. What is? Dumplings for dessert. Ooh. <laughs> Let's just dive right into this. Sure, they good. came out steaming hot. All right. Here we go. I think by the time I finish, I'm gonna turn into a dumpling, y'all. You're a dumpling. All right, cheers. Here we go, cheers. Here we go. There's no spoon this time. Just oh. gonna pop it right in. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's some um, amazing chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate like bursts in your mouth. Really good. Wow. I wasn't sure about that because it was like wrapped in a dumpling. A dumpling, right? But that was amazing. Bam! Okay, I will Bam. tell you this. I am stuffed. Oh, I am so stuffed. Well, let me ask you. Sure. So what do you think of this place? Oh, what do you think? Overall, I'll have to say, hmm, what was your least favorite oh, of my, the dumpling? My least favorite, yeah, I would have to say the vegetable. First of all, there was no real, I expected kind of that soup broth in there, but I think the vegetable soaked it all up. You didn't get that, it tasted a little dry, and plus it just tasted really, the vegetable, the greens really overpowered the Anything pork. else in there, yeah. Yeah, so that, I'd have to say that's my least favorite. I'm with you on that one, and, and if you were to ask me what was the best, yeah, what is it? What is your favorite? I would say it's a tie. It's a tie between the the first one, which is the pork shalong bao. Yeah, sure. And I would say the uh, shrimp and pork shumai. Oh yeah, both of those are excellent. Shumai, yes, absolutely yeah. excellent. Now, what would you say? Yeah, pretty similar. I'd, I'd probably just go with the pork. Yes, because just I, I kind of like simple things. Yes. You know, very simple. It, it was kind of I liked how they were small and delicate. Yes. And uh, it was also the first ones we had, so they kind of we were taken by surprise. Yeah, right? so the good. The flavors were yeah. so good, absolutely. And it's Shang Artisan Noodles, which is a very popular spot here in Las Vegas. I have to tell you, it gets really busy, and they're known for their hand pulled noodles made fresh daily using a traditional Chinese method. Now those are incorporated to a bunch of different dishes. And if you're not into noodles, there are a lot of other things you can try as well. So the line's getting long in there. So let's see what they got. As you can see, it's very popular in here, very loud. We actually just put our order in for some of the best dishes that they have to offer. We'll tell you about them once we get them. Woo, so I ended up going with the Dan Dan noodle with that delicious pan-made noodle going on there. It's $12.68 for that dish. It's got the minced pork, the green onions. I made it, you can get it spicy. I decided to get it not so spicy and just get some uh, <clears throat> red chili sauce on the side so I can make it spicy if I like or not. Look at that. Oh. Oh, look at that. I'm just gonna try it. Mm, the flavor of the pork is really nice and it complements that sauce and green onions. The noodles, you can definitely taste the freshness. It's not like an over wet noodle or even a real dry noodle. I could probably go a little spicier to match my husband's level of spiciness. I think it's perfect the way it is. It's dynamite. Dave, you're gonna love this one. Now tell you, babe, this thing looks amazing. And this is the Shang beef noodle. It comes in a beef and a chicken broth. And you can get it spicy or mild. I've got it spicy. And I gotta tell you, I can smell the spice. It also has some incredible braised beef brisket there as well. And then have these green onions. Just, ah, oh, it looks incredible. I gotta try this. Now I'm gonna use a fork. And that's how I roll. <laughs> I apologize. That looks so spicy. Oh mm. my goodness. I can already mm. see it. Oh, this is incredible, babe. The flavor is unreal. The broth, you can really taste the chili, right? It's definitely spicy, but a really nice flavor. And that beef brisket just is kind of that in the broth. It just really infuses everything. It really mixes nice with the noodles. Really like ready, ready. Now, of course, we could not go without getting some delicious starters as well. We just brought it all out. Oh, ooh, and, oh, and, a, oh. and something. Ooh, yummy. Oh, so, of course, we couldn't go without some of the popular side dishes. And just to let you know, 
The cucumber salad is definitely one of them that has that sesame dressing in there. And it's just really, really good. We went with the traditional sort of spring rolls, a crispy spring roll. Had to go with the pork and cabbage pot stickers just to round things off nicely. And why not burn our mouth just a little bit more with those spicy wontons? So now the cucumber salad is $6.82. The spicy wonton is $8.82. The pork and cabbage pot stickers is $8.82. And the spring rolls are $8.35. So you can clearly see it's a well-rounded, you get great portion sizes for these things. And it's not that expensive. As a matter of fact, it's still considered some cheap eats compared to some of the things on the strip in Las Vegas. Not a bad way to kick things off here. Shang Artisan Noodle, open daily from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Wow, welcome to Catch Las Vegas here at Aria. Yes, this is exciting for us, a really great spot here. It's kind of this contemporary Japanese seafood place, right? Sushi, a lot of good stuff here. It's gonna be amazing. I mean, Tanya loves sushi, and so I think this is definitely gonna be your jam tonight. And the ambiance, when you walk in, it really is quite fascinating. Right from the moment you walk through those front doors that says Catch, there's so many different pockets, so definitely have your cameras ready because there's a lot of Instagramable spots up there for sure. Exactly, and Catch has a reputation of being a really celebrity hotspot. I mean, it's big in LA and New York, and then they came <laughs> to Vegas, and so here it is, you know, Catch in Las Vegas. I'm excited. Now it's time to check out that drink menu because I heard they have some really great things on that menu, yes. so let's check it out. So kicking things off this evening, we went with some of their signature cocktails here. This one is actually called a Dirtier Bastard. Dirtier Bastard, that's a good name. <laughs> I know, I like and it basically has bourbon, it has like fresh ginger inside, lime, and of course a lemon tea cordial. Wow. And it just has a really refreshing, rich aroma. And I love how it's mm. kind of served like this copper sort of mule right, cup. That's cool. It's so cute. On well, this beauty. This is called the Meat Packing Manhattan. Meat Packing? Meat Packing Manhattan. Is there a slice of bacon in there? <laughs> no, right, exactly. I think it's a little bit of a, maybe a lime. Oh, that well. might be a lime wedge in there. A lime in there. Oh, it's really cool too. They actually bring it out with a flask. So they actually poured it in with a flask. You get to keep the flask. You get to keep the flask with your so, cocktail. I mean, it's definitely not cheap drinks. So I think these are $18 right. each drink. Exactly. So you can like booze it on the strip. It has rye whiskey in it. Oh it my gosh. It's for a cow. Sinar, sherry, and aperitif. So. Wow, I like the sound of that. Yeah. Well, you know what? Here's to a great evening. Cheers. Absolutely. I love you. Oh, That is really, really good. I mean, you nice. definitely taste like the lemon, the ginger. It almost has like a, a seltzery sort of vibe. So it's like a spritzer, but really good. And I love they have the mint twig on the side. Right. Gorgeous garnish. Very cool. And this is actually really good too. It is it's very sweet. Yes. Right? A little syrupy in a way. So I tend not to like the uh, sweet things quite as much, but it's still good. Yeah. You would love it, I think. You would love this one. And. Uh, but definitely, you definitely taste it. You know, taste the uh, whiskey in there for sure. Well, that's so a good drink when you can taste the whiskey. On that, so. All well, right. All right. So we wasted it in no time. Yes. I'm super excited. So this is basically their signature sushi. It's called Catch Sushi. Now. You know I'm a big fan of sushi. Yeah, you love sushi. And I know you're not a huge fan of sushi. No, I'm gonna give it a try though. But I will tell you what you might like on this cat sushi. Now this cat sushi is basically, Ooh, it's got crab, like. salmon, and uh, it's nice little sort of miso honey. Right, and is of that course, a jalapeno slice yes, on top? Yes, it's a jalapeno, jalapeno slice. slice. Oh so God. should we try this together? Oh yeah. Uh, we have to try this together. So of course I'm you get your own little sauce. Board. I love it. You ready to do it? I'm ready. All right. I want a lot of this nice sauce in there. <laughs> Soak it up, right? Soak it up. All right, here right. we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> I will say this. It tasted amazing, right? Like that first bite was really good. Really good. You really taste the jalapeno too. It's spicy. Right. Not yeah. a little cake. There's a little crunch in there. All right. And the crunch is coming from, I think it has that nice little like it just feels like a salad sort of vibe in there. Right. The salmon is really rich though. You do I have really the salmon taste the salmon. taste. Like really once you kind of settle down right. with the salmon taste. I, I didn't taste the salmon at first. At first I was like, wow, I really like it. 
And I'm not a huge salmon fan. That's suddenly the salmon kicked in. Yes. And if you like salmon, you're gonna love it. Yeah. I'm just not a huge salmon lover. Right. And right. if you don't like it, just drown it in soy sauce. You're right. There, which I try to do. <laughs> but I think if you are a fan of salmon, you like sushi. It's definitely a tasty roll. And Dave is right. The the jalapeno does give it a little bit of that extra kick. Oh, I love that. Which is really nice. And of Super. course the sauce. But this is. Right. This is spot on. So this is yeah. the catch roll. So I would say overall, that's really nice. It's got a lot of depth, dynamic, great flavors in there for sure. Now, how much was this? This was $23. Mm. So what so, do you think about that price? So definitely not cheap. But yeah. the sushi pieces are really big. It's got a lot of great flavor to that. I really like it. I think it's a great dish. I mean, for not being a sushi eater, I, that whole mix of flavor was really good. And of course, that nice little spicy kick from the jalapeno was great. So what do we got here? Well, this is a signature item here at Catch, the truffle sashimi. I like the way you right. said that. Yes, and it's got yellowtail and tuna. What's really nice too is it has like a chili oil, ponzu, caviar, and black truffle. And of course, caviar has a really salty sort of texture to that. So I'm dying to see the textures and flavors in this one. It looks like there's gonna be a lot of things going on in right. this dish. Unbelievable. Should we give it a shot? Okay. What do we try first? The Let's yellowtail? See. You sure, yellow tail? Right, let's try the yellow tail. I like it. Those All right. Jump in there. Ready? Yes. Go. Cheers. I gotta wait for you to do it because I, yeah, I can't. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Now that is really good. That's nice. It's really, really light. Very right. light. Right. The yellowtail, you almost forgot about it with all the all that's going on around right. it. The truffle is very potent. Yeah, great flavor in that truffle sauce. It's like really good. Yes, the caviar gives a little bit of that salty texture to yeah. it. The scallions just really bring it on home. I thought that was really good. Yeah. It shocked me. Right. I put it in my mouth and I'm like, okay. And then I was like, whoa. Right. That, it was like the shuffle truffle all in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. 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 So we try some of this tuna now. All right, let's try the tuna. I'll let you take that one right there. Oh, it's all the blended here. It's already blended, the good blended stuff in. in there. Yeah, okay, here we go. That's wasabi, a little green wasabi, which is a real spicy kick. Oh, I like that part. Yeah, I know you would. Here we go, ready? All right, here we go. And then we'll see which one you like better. Here we go, ready? All right, go. Mmm. I think mm. you probably like the yellowtail. I think the texture of the tuna may be a little bit more squishier. Yeah, it's a little squishy. It's a little squishy. It's actually really good. It's not fishy at all. No. I don't think either is fishy, right? Like the salmon one, the salmon sushi, I really tasted the salmon, kind of a fishiness to it. Right. The salmon dip, not at all. Really I think, good. I think that may have a lot to do with that truffle sauce. That truffle the sauce truffle is sauce really is great. rich. Really nice sauce. That's good. Ooh, it's nice delicious. Fish. The caviar, I still got the little crunchy bits. Right. That burst of salty deliciousness. Just so you know, this is $34. $34? $34 for this dish here. And that obviously might have to do a lot with the caviar, right. truffles. Those are all kind of expensive compliments to a well, dish. that's true. And if the food is great quality and tastes great, sometimes it's worth spending the money for it. As far Absolutely. as I'm concerned, right? So. I, I think it's a wonderful yeah. thing to do for a special occasion, right. a great night out. The ambiance is great, low light. Now it is a little loud. It is loud in here. But, but it's a cool vibe. It's a very cool, a cool vibe. vibe. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. Get to the cook stuff. I right? know, the more hot. Exactly. Is. Crispy shrimp with spicy mayo. And I tell you, it it smells good. It smells, it does smell really spicy. Yeah, which yeah. is what we like. Yeah. And there's a good amount of shrimp here. It does, yeah, it's not too right? bad, yeah. And the service, we have our server, Joe, has been spot on. Yeah. You know, bringing out new utensils every step of the way, new chopsticks for me. Exactly, here we to go. To try the shrimp. Actually, we dive Let's in. Let's do it, let's, let's do, do it. it. And the mayo is already all mixed in it with is. the shrimp, spicy mayo sauce. So. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love it. Really, really good. The shrimp tastes so nice. Really light. You know, it's not like really kind of a delicate shrimp. Really good. But the spicy mayo sauce is so tasty. Just a perfect blend of kind of the sweetness and the savory and 
a little bit, the spice does not overwhelm you at all. Nice spiciness to it. It's really good. Yeah, I feel like it's one of those that'll build. I definitely love the shrimp. It really tastes fresh. Mm, yeah. And the, the crunch layer on top of that, it's like a perfect crunch. It's not too breaded right, to really true. drown out the shrimp. David's right, the spice is spot on. Delicious. I love it. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> mm. Right, got a nice little crunchiness. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, so what do we have there, babe? So for the main event, you guys, we went with an herb crusted bronzino. And it's really nice sitting with like a sort of a creamy vegetable basamati. And it has a nice little glaze, almost like a pesto glaze around the side. And I'm going to compliment that with some lemon. That's not, yeah, it looks and smells really good. Right? Yeah. Oh, now, yeah. I think this might be right up your alley. I think so. <laughs> Why don't we dive Should in? Should we just dive into this? Oh, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Oh man, I love that, how it cuts. Ooh, right, right there, there. It smells so good. Get some of this nice sauce in there. You gotta get the sauce, you gotta get the rice, the basamati. Oh, the skin looks nice and crunchy. Right. You ready to do this? I'm making a mess here, guys. <laughs> Hold on, here we go, here we go, ready? Right, here we go, yeah. cheers. Right off the back, I love that it was a little crunch on the skin, a really buttery sort of yes. creamy texture mixed with that yeah. basamati. The fish is really nice. It doesn't right. have a fishy taste right, it's at nice all. That's a nice filet, really good. I really enjoyed it. It's really kind of creamy too, the whole the rice and everything in there. Nice creamy, creamy flavor. It's good. I absolutely think this is a dynamite fish. Yeah. The portion sizes are, they're well controlled. Now this is not a lot. It looks like it could be a, a one person thing, but yeah. sharing is probably perfect for exactly. us. Exactly. Hey, we like to share. We love to share. Yeah. Yeah. I will say I am full but not stuffed. That's true, that is true. Right? It so, was actually yeah, pretty nice. Pretty it nice. was, it really was. Yeah. So let me ask you. Sure. So what did you think of this place? What would you think? I would say I love the decor. I love the ambiance. A little on the loud side, but overall I really enjoyed the food. The dishes were Spot on delicious. Yeah, now Catch is a really nice restaurant here. It's not definitely not cheap. No. Right, but the food quality is excellent. The service is great. There's a great vibe to it. Definitely worth visiting. Yeah, so when you're in the area or planning on a visit, definitely stop at Catch for a delicious meal. Welcome to downtown Las Vegas. I'm Jonathan Drossel, the CEO of the Plaza. Turn it up, world. Tonight, you guys, now we did a video here at Oscars last time. If you're interested, you should definitely go check that video out. It is, we had a lot of fun. And one of their best items on the menu, which is the rib cap, but tonight we are putting ourselves in the hands of our host, Ivan, who last time treated us really well. If you have not seen that video, you yeah. should check it out. Yeah, Ivan is awesome. We're so excited. It's gonna be a just a massive fest here of amazing food. We're so excited about it. Yeah. Awesome. Get ready, y'all. As we were familiar with several of the appetizers, such as the oysters, crab cake, and salad, we thought we'd add one we haven't tried here at Oscars before, the scallops. And judging from our reactions, we enjoyed it. Oh, and if you haven't done so, go ahead and take a second to hit that like button. We greatly appreciate it. Once again, here at Oscars was spot on delicious, and that tomahawk steak was mmm mmm good and made to the perfect medium. The team here at Oscars really makes dining in extra special. Very attentive and knowledgeable about each dish. We had a great time, and we'll definitely be back. You can check out now. Dave and I, we are big time steak eaters. So there is a popular steakhouse here at Red Rock called T-Bones Chop House. We're gonna go check that out. I'm hungry, so let's eat. Welcome to T-Bone. 
to kick things off, I came over with a nice assortment of bread. And I want to point out one thing. There's a great patio right by the pool outside, which is very popular for seating here, especially during the warmer months. Now, this is a steakhouse that really prides himself on a lot of variety options on the menu in terms of steaks. We did hear that the crab cakes here are to die for. So we're going to start with the crab cakes and our cocktails just arrived. We're going with the usual, the old fashioned. Cheers, Cheers baby. Man. It's a great night. It's a great night. Love you. That's awesome, babe. You're gonna love it. Okay, gotta say this. If you enjoy crab cake and you're coming here, you've gotta try their crab cake. It is very good, well worth it. He is not lying. Uh -huh. So T-Bone was a success. We really enjoyed our food and the dessert and the service was spot on. We are absolutely stuffed right now. It's time to eat. Unfortunately, the lines for the oyster bar were way too long. So we decided to head to something we love steakhouses and right next door was a steakhouse locals love called the charcoal room. Right. Who wants to scooch on in? Scooch on in, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the charcoal room here at Palace Station. You guys know we love our steakhouses so here we are and we've actually never tried this before. We're excited to try it out and let you guys know what we think. We've already took a sneaky peek at the menu and there's some things that definitely caught our eye. One in particular is the bacon wrapped shrimp appetizer. Now, there's supposed to be jumbo shrimps wrapped in bacon. I mean, huh, bacon wrapped around anything. Delicious. Yeah. I'm sure I try that with some of the onions, too, right? Yeah, we could. I'm just grabbing them all. Cheers. I love yeah. you. Mmm. Wow, wow. Wow. That's Here excellent. Go. Very good. The shrimp is cooked perfectly. Nice crispy bacon mm. around that and those onions too and the sauce. Excellent appetizer. Yeah. And they're also known for their bone-in ribeye, which we're gonna probably share. Yeah. I think it's about 20 ounces or yeah, so. Pretty so big. It should be very good. So one of the sides that's pretty popular here um, and unique is the charred corn, which is almost like a Mexican street corn side dish. But there is one more thing we need to get. Come on. Well, that's the lobster tail. The lobster <laughs> tail. Now we asked for medium on the steak. Let's see how it looks. Does that look medium? Haven't looked yet. Let's see. Yeah, what do you think there? It looks a little look, medium well. A little medium well. A little medium well. We'll see that. We'll see but how the juice is. But this is a ribeye, bone in ribeye. It's going to be so juicy. So. Oh, it does cut nicely. Yeah. Nice right. color. Yeah. It, looks, it does look yeah. uh, a little, little medium little well. well. Yeah, a little bit. We asked for medium, so a little bit Let's see more. How it tastes, let's though. see. Cheers. Cheers, Mmm. That is tender. Mm-hmm. It's juicy. Very tender. I agree. Very juicy. Definitely medium well. Yeah. You know, I feel like it could use a little bit more salt to it. Maybe it's the sauce here. I'm going to try out. I'm going to try it with the sauce. I'll do that too. And we can just dip it. <laughs> exactly. Double dips are okay <laughs> here, okay guys. Here. That's right. Mmm. Mmm. Well, that is good. Mm hmm. Mmm. It's nice. That brings a different dynamic it to does. it. does. For sure. You know, we're kind of playing in that aspect where we like kind of that salt and peppery vibe coming right. out of that juicy taste of the steak. And anything sauce is like bonus, right? Exactly. But I think this in this case actually takes it to another level, makes it really, it makes it good, wonderful. Yeah, overall, you know, it's good uh, kind of ribeye. Yeah. Sure. The ambiance, the service, the drinks, and the food here at the charcoal room were really good. We would definitely say to us, this is certainly a hidden gem steakhouse here in Las Vegas. And of course, it's a steakhouse. Thanks. Let's eat. Wow, babe, that is so good. Look at all these muscles. She's got a lot of muscles. You have a great rest of your night. Thank you. Wow, did you see that? That's impressive, that yeah. Good. 
So we're here at Hank's Steakhouse, which has been here at Green Valley Ranch, I guess 18 years now, but they have some really dynamite options for steaks. But we heard from a long time staffer here that the fried chicken is pretty good. So we may just have to order the fried chicken. But before we do any of that, we always start off with some old fashions. Cheers, babe. Cheers, babe. Did you say fried chicken? I said fried chicken with gravy. Great food and the service was awesome too. I right? agree. Mm -hmm. Love the music too. Live music. Live music. Very cool. We're here at the Edge Steakhouse inside of the Westgate. Now, one thing about the Edge Steakhouse, it's sort of off the Las Vegas Strip, and we're very excited to check out what's on this menu. I guess we'd call this like a hidden gym steakhouse off the strip. Is it really? Well, let's find out. Let's go inside. I'm excited for the, uh, the starters, babe. Oh yeah, right? for sure. Everything sounds really good. So we decided to go for the spicy shrimp starter. Ooh. Right, and it says here, I'm just read the menu. It yes. says lightly fried, spicy emulsion, sweet chili reduction, that's for $20. But that's not all. I know. Right, we're going also for the Wagyu beef tatar. I'm excited about that. Right, and it says it has a Kaluga caviar, truffle aioli, radish beef fat toast, and quail egg. And that's for 22, so it's not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. Of course, we had to get a couple of old fashioned, so cheers, my dear, to a great night here at Edge Steakhouse. Cheers, baby. Cheers. I gotta say, the Edge Steakhouse, so far, very impressed. Uh, it is a little bit of a hidden gem, I gotta say. Anyway, you don't, you don't hear about the Edge Steakhouse as much as some of the other steakhouses across Vegas, but this is a pretty nice find. I'm excited, really, to, I mean, the appetizers were great. Excited for the main dish as well. Now we're gonna share with you one of the most popular local breakfast spots in all of Las Vegas. Welcome to Blueberry Hill Restaurant. Now this has been family owned for many years and serving Las Vegas locals some great, great breakfast options. Now this one's open 24 seven. Now there are four of these Blueberry Hill locations in Las Vegas. And the one that we're at right now is the one on East Flamingo. There are two on East Flamingo and we're at the one closest to UNLV that's 24 seven. I'm talking 24 seven breakfast, lunch and dinner y'all. And one of the coolest things about this spot here is they can get lines up to two hours long for breakfast because they really do pride themselves on making a lot of things from scratch, right? Oh no, they do. Yum, yum, give me some. Mm. Now the price points here are very reasonable. I ordered the corned beef hash for $13.69. And Tanya, what did you get? 
So I ordered the chicken apple compote waffle. One of the things I like about that is that their chicken is a chicken breast that actually has their own sort of breaded crumbs around there that they make themselves on top of the compote, which they make in the kitchen from scratch with the freshest fruit. And that apple is delicious. So I don't know. Plus we, got, we had to get a side of those biscuits, which are also homemade biscuits and gravy, homemade biscuits, homemade gravy with the little bacon bits and a couple other things like a pancake and just a lot of good stuff. So we're about to dive in mm. while it's hot. Corn beef hash. I gotta say, you really taste the freshness. You can tell it's been made from scratch. Oh, yeah. It is just so good. Really, everything we've had. I mean, that's one thing about this place. Everything tastes so fresh, and it's just really good. It's like homemade, made with love. Yes. What I would suggest is for breakfast, try and get here early um, because if you want that outdoor seating, it is a first come, first serve basis. You cannot make a reservation here. You can make a reservation on the inside. And keep in mind as well, during the months of October when it gets a little bit cooler, uh, lunch tends to really, really pick up. So they have great lunches, great brunches on the weekend for sure. But think about those things when you are scheduling your time to come here to Monamigabi on the strip, baby. There we go. Cheers to an awesome breakfast. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Breakfast is served. Cheers, baby. Now, the menu for breakfast has shortened a little bit. So they used to have a lot more items on the breakfast menu, but currently there's a little few less items on that menu. Still a great variety for sure. We'll put that up on the screen here so you can see the different options that they do have. But that's what they have going on for the breakfast menu. So anyway, my corned beef hash has arrived and it looks incredible. Uh, so again, it's corned beef with poached eggs, roasted red bell peppers, some Yukon Gold uh, potatoes, and also they roasted some, looks like some cherry tomatoes here. Just looks really, really good. And of course our server, Abelino, brought us over uh, some of these jalapenos. So I better, try, I better try some of these. And he went all out too and brought over some Tabasco too. So we'll see. <laughs> Trying this without the uh, added jalapeno and Tabasco sauce, but here we go. This looks amazing. Wow. This is really some great, great uh, hash. It's really good. The flavor, of it, it's not too salty, but just enough salt there. And the poached egg just really, really is creamy, just kind of blends right in so nicely. Yeah, I kind of want to get some. I'm going to get some of this cherry tomato too. The red pepper. Just, I like kind of making a big mess here. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good too. The rosa red pepper, a cherry tomato in there. Thumbs up. Double thumbs up. Really good. <laughs> so I'm excited to try this. Now, what was nice in our server, Abelino, thank you for doing this. I was torn between the French toast and the crepes, the banana fosters crepes. So he kind of split it up for me so that I could actually try one of each. And man, it looks really, really wonderful with the bananas sitting in sort of that caramel sauce and the powdered sugar. And of course, you can't not top that with that fresh whipped vanilla. Oh my gosh, whipped cream. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I mean, that crepe has such a great texture. The softness in the middle, the crunch on the outside, the banana and the caramel are not overwhelming. And putting that vanilla whipped cream on top is so 
refreshing and you do get the bits of powdered sugar it's like perfectly sweet but not too sweet absolutely a winner winner chicken dinner Woo! so i don't know if this french toast is going to top that delicious grape but i still have high hopes so next up i'm going to try this french toast it's a blueberry french toast really thick piece nice has the powdered sugar on it of course to give you the extra blueberry sort of like drizzle on top of that and the whipped cream the vanilla whipped cream so it really has a nice texture great in color it looks like it's crunchy on the outside for sure even after all the juices in there so i'm gonna give this a shot some little extra whipped cream can never have too much extra whipped cream all right here we go Blueberries are just right. They're like the small blueberries, so they have that little bit of sweetness to them, less bitter. The the kind of the powdered sugar really does bring it on home. The crunch on the edge of that soft and moist French toast is heaven. I think Dave is gonna love this one here. I think oh. you're gonna love this. Oh, I know so. I know I'm gonna love it. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. I think it's time for us to chow this down and let you guys know what we think after we eat. But I think it's already clear. <laughs> Sounds good to me. located in southwest Las Vegas. They're known for their breakfast and lunch, sort of a diner feel. And I know this sun is already roasting me, so let's get inside to Mr. Mama's. Let's eat. So let us tell you a bit about Mr. Mama's and why we're so excited to share it with you. They're a local family-owned business here in Vegas. They've been in Vegas for about 11 years. They're in the Spring Valley area. They're open for breakfast and lunch daily from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Now we've already placed our order and a couple of the highlights and why we really enjoy it is because they have some homemade items on the menu like the biscuits and gravy which is what we're getting and that is $12.79 and then of course Dave's favorite is the corned beef hash and that's $16.99. It's a very inviting diner. I love the family atmosphere. As a matter of fact, when you come in, you're going to see the GM who's married to the sister. <laughs> There's a lot of family here. It's super cool. Oh, uh, we forgot to mention that the most popular item on the menu is the chicken fried steak, homemade, which we also ordered. Yeah, and it's $16.99. I tell you, first and foremost, we've always talked about this, that service is always the, it's always the icing on the cake. The food can be dynamite, but if the service is not great, it doesn't make the food, in my opinion, taste as great. But so far, I'll tell you guys right now, this place has dynamite service. And, whew, my goodness gracious, look at that. Look at that, of course, it's dynamite. The crunchy, sort of that, the batter wrapped around that steak is absolutely delicious. I don't know, it's always something about homemade like chicken gravy with the sausage in it. That really just adds that extra layer of deliciousness. It's warm, tender. Sometimes you can get the steak that could be, once it's pounded out or flattened a little, a little bit too, uh, how do you say, dry. This is not that at all, and it goes really nice. Here's a tip, get the extra gravy on the side so you can just dip and bite. And I'm sharing this with my husband, by the way. Oh. Now, babe, I love how the yolk just kind of, it was perfectly cooked, just ran right over the corned beef. I'm excited to try it. Should I give it a try? Give it a shot. All right, look at that. That looks good. Wow, that is some excellent corned beef hash, babe. It's very, it's very minced, almost fine, kind of smooth. But the flavor of the corned beef just jumps out at you. And combined with that runny yolk from the egg, that's perfect. I definitely want to try some hot sauce on it, though. I love a little spice to it. It's not hot when it comes out, but I think a little spice might add a little added dimension to it. So I need to point this out to you. If you see the pendants lined up all around Mr. Mama's. They didn't buy the pendants themselves. Folks actually brought in those pendants into the shop or actually mailed them in and they would put them on the wall. So if you don't see your favorite team up there, bring a pendant with you and they'll put it up on the wall for you or you can mail, even mail it in. It's pretty cool. Turn Turn it out! Thank you. 
Welcome to Yardbird. Now, yes. I'll just jump right into it, you guys. There's a menu. There's a brunch special going on today. There's a lot of interesting things on there. Uh, I ended up going with just what I usually get. I like shrimp and grits. And I was told they're really good here. Yeah. I went with the smoked brisket huevos rancheros, which I'm looking forward to. We were actually here a while back and came in, and it was really busy. Oh, yeah. And it gets very busy here. The lines can be just out the door. So. If you want to come, we suggest uh, making reservations obviously now in this current situation, but also try to get one of the earlier seating. Yes, the music is a bit on the loud side. I think for me, honestly, it's, you know, 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> It'd be nice to have some more ambiance versus like, ooh, shut Here up. we go, wake up everybody. Hey, it's Vegas. Ooh, okay. All right. And these look absolutely delicious. I mean, the aroma coming from this here is fantastic. Yes. So the shrimp and grits, it looks perfect. I love like the juice, the sauce. I love it, it has ham and onion and tomato. Lots of good stuff going on in there. Oh, I, the presentation of both of these dishes is excellent. Wow. Which looks amazing. The smoked brisket huevos rancheros looks very good. They did a great job with the eggs sunny side up. Cooked just the way we like it. Here we go. So I dive at the same time? Let's do it. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Cue music. Cue music, everybody. Mm, okay. I thought that was spot on. I love the company flavors. I would never think of putting ham that slices the ham inside of shrimp and grits. It is really, really good. The sauce, the flavors work really well. Spot on awesome. delicious. And this is, this is awesome. <laughs> this is really good. The brisket has a nice little spiciness to it. Excellent, really tender, very nice. Um, of course, you got the fresh avocado, the pico de gallo, perfectly cooked egg as well, all blended together. Thumbs up, really good. All right. Oh, so that was really, really good. I enjoyed it. Yes, the brunch here at Yardbird is excellent. Yeah, if you're coming to the Venetian, certainly recommend coming to the Yardbird. Get early reservations to enjoy some of that brunch and lunch. The food is spot on. Welcome to Sedell's. We are so excited to be here. Yes, it's a nice spot here at the Bellagio. They claim to have the best brunch in Vegas. We'll let you know what we think about that. Yes, and what's really cool is when you walk in here, it's just beautiful. Like, you actually go around the new conservatory, which is kind of like the fairies right. that's going on right now. I thought it was beautiful. You walk in here, the decor is so inviting, and even the outfits of all the staff members and waiters, they match the decor. Okay. No, it's really nice. Plus, you have a great view of the pool, too. Yes. Right, you have this great way. If you have a window seat, you can be looking right down at the pool. I know, you know, we should have probably put our bathing suits on since we're going to go check out the <laughs> yeah. pool after this, but. That's okay, that's okay, because it's enough time to walk upstairs, burn off this brunch, and change into our bathing suits. But first, latte. The restaurant's open from seven to three, and they have breakfast brunch available all day during that time. And actually at 11 o'clock, they open up for a lunch dinner as well, so have additional options around that. So we are going with some lattes, some fresh squeezed orange juice, and I am getting the cheese blends and he the waiter was like that's his favorite so i'm like okay that's what i'm gonna try with a side of blueberries and of course some sausage yes that sounds good <laughs> and that's uh 16 for that and i'm actually gonna go for the french toast it's supposed to be really good that kind of that custard filling in there as well and also the side of sausage too so it should be really good now the french toast is 22 dollars, so, so definitely not cheap yes Kidding. I'm really excited about this. Yeah, that looks really nice. It's not too big, too, which yep. you're worried about getting a huge portion, so it's exactly. not too bad. This is amazing. I love how they stack them in cute little, little cheese blends with little frosting right. topping and some sugar and syrup and blueberries. And... Looks good. And they don't chance on the French toast either. Those are some pretty thick slices of French toast with the custard in there. 
Oh, this smells, so <laughs> smells so good. Smells so good. They're good. Mm. I'm kind of melting them out of that. You just took the words right out of right. my mouth. <laughs> Melts in your mouth. It is so good. Really creamy. That ricotta cheese has a, a soft texture to it. Look how yeah. large that is. Yeah, exactly. so it's like a, it's a thick cut of beef. No, but it's very light. It really kind of like that crunch. Oh, that's going to be good. Yeah, and apparently they dry out the bread before they dip it in the custard. Right, I guess that's kind of the secret, they say. But Mmm. Ah. Very moist. The custard really brings out a lot of moisture there. But it's not too heavy, too, which is great. You look at this and you think, oh, it's going to be incredibly heavy. But it's actually very light and fluffy. That's the French does itself. Yes, light and fluffy. You know? So, it's good. Get into that sauce. Oh, oh yeah. look at that nice pizza sausage. It looks really good. Really juicy on the inside. A lot of good rich color and flavor. The skin looks crunchy on the outside. Ready? Okay. Let's do it. Now that pork sausage is so rich in flavor. Yeah, I think they're good. They're a little denser than I expected. Right, a little bit more filling. But very good sausage. Yeah. All the way down, like even the more more as I chew it, it's still like that flavor that just continually keeps coming out. Right. But you're right, they're very dense, but delicious. Very ah, good. dense and delicious. Ah! Woo! Okay, so I will say that was great. I feel full. I feel like the value was definitely there. It's definitely not a cheap spot for sure. Yeah, no, no, it is expensive. But if you want a nice breakfast brunch spot here at the Bellagio, it's a good place to come. Welcome to the Henry here at the Cosmopolitan. Now, several of our subscribers suggested this place, so thank y'all. We're looking forward to giving them a shot. So welcome, we're looking forward to have a nice breakfast here today. Yeah. Uh, do you know what you're getting? I'm right. gonna have the Southern Shrimp and Grits. What are you getting? Yeah, I'm gonna get the corned beef hash. Oh, corned beef so hash. Go for that, should be nice. Love that, a couple right. of fresh squeezed orange juices. Let's see what it's like here. All right, all right. Yes. I'm so excited. This actually looks really good. Oh, that looks and smells awesome. I really does have that rich aroma. Yes. I am so stoked to see that it's not as crazy large as I thought it was gonna be. Again, we got the southern sort of shrimp and grits. And you can really smell that like Cajun barbecue spice in there. It's got avocado layer on top of that. It's got that nice corn sort of style grits, not traditional grits, but like corn yeah. based type grit. And of course, they bring you some sauces, which I'm gonna probably have some hot sauce on there. And I am stoked. Oh, it even got some beans in there. Right. I like yeah. it. Yeah, well, I got the corned beef hash. Of course, that's sunny side up eggs with some hollandaise sauce. And you know, it looks and smells really good too. And plus, I had to get some pickled jalapeno. Of so, course. gotta spice it up a little bit. Oh my, oh my. That shrimp. Mm -hmm. That is very, very good. I love the creaminess of the grit. The salsa really blends in. The avocado has that little cold burst. Now the shrimps, I think could be a little less on the crunchier side. Um, you know, I like, it's, it's a hard to explain. It's like that right in the middle, perfect shrimp. Right. But it's really, really good and a lot of flavor. So I put on some uh, pickled jalapenos, Ooh, I like yeah. that, and then uh, I'm gonna dive right in here and try it out. Kind of cutting through the egg. Here we go. We'll give it a shot. Mmm. That's really good. I like it. I definitely, you know, the egg is really nice. Perfectly done. Um, the yolk just kind of just gets nice and creamy. Very kind of buttery yolk. Blends right in here. Um, into the hash. The hash tastes really good too. Not, you know, it's salty, but not too salty. Just a really nice flavor. And of course, those pickled jalapenos add that spicy kind of kick to it. So it's really, really a nice dish. Try and get here on the earlier side, because as we look, and you probably see maybe even behind us, right now, currently, there's about a 45 minute wait. Wow. So, you know, they're still running at about half the pass about these places, so things can go quickly. So get here to enjoy your breakfast. Now, the Henry is not a cheap place, but it is still a decent value here for at the Cosmo. These dishes were $18 each. And the portions aren't huge, but they're really a, a good, healthy size. We just have to kind of wrap this up, yes. finish our coffee and our OJ, and head on over to the pool, y'all. 
Welcome to Gordon Ramsay's Burger. That's right, we are at Gordon Ramsay Burger here at Planet Hollywood for the reopening. Now we are so excited. We are staying here at Planet Hollywood for this reopening and boy, that was incredible. I will say this, it's been seven months since this place has had some foot traffic, so I am dying to see what is on this menu. We have been dying for seven months to try out Gordon Ramsay's Burger, so it's nice to be here. Oh, and we are so hungry too. All right, so typical us, we're a little undecisive when it comes to beers, because David and I are pretty wimpy when it comes to beers. If you <laughs> had noticed already yeah. from our previous videos. So we actually had our, our, our waiter, our host, who uh, his name is Ian, phenomenal, brought over two options for us. So what do we got? These are samplers, by the way. Yeah, we got some samples. And the first one, uh, which, wait a second, who drank <laughs> that? I'm guilty. Somebody's already gotten started on that one, so yeah. that might be his favorite. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> this is actually called Innocent Gun Scottish Ale. Mm. Apparently it's Gordon Ramsay's favorite ale. Ah. And I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna say what I thought of it, but how do you try it? Mm. See what you think. Let's see. Well, look, given that it's already yeah. halfway done, I think you might have already enjoyed it. Guilty. Oh, that is really nice. Yes, it's really good. That's a really nice one there. Yeah. So, all right. We gotta try this one first before we determine which one we want. So this one here is called a Bucking Beaver Peanut, and it's a stout. Now it has that really dark, rich color, almost very similar to like a Guinness. So let, let's see what this is like. This may not be our jam, because we're not. this might be something more punchy. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. All right, so if you ask me first which one I like better. I like them both, but I think this one has such a really different taste. It has a peanut butter taste. Right. To me, this tastes almost dessert-like. Yeah. In a way, almost like a dessert drink. Like a dessert beer. Right. Really kind of sweet and flavorful. Yeah. Really, you taste that peanut butter in it. You do. It's really nice. And that one's more of a light sort of. Right. What do you think about that one? I think they're both good. I think it's your call what we get. Um, so if you are, we could eat. Got something different. Each. Yeah, it, my only my only thing about this one here, I feel like it might take away from the taste of the food. Right. It's so rich and it's, creamy and desserty, it might actually battle with the flavors of right. the, the food. So I agree with that. I think in this case, we should go with the innocent gun. I am all for that. Innocent, innocent gun. gun. Got a sale. But I'm still gonna enjoy this yep. sample. Cheers. Let's talk about the menu, because there's a lot of good things on that menu that you want some snacks, just coming in for like some beer and a snacks. They have like delicious like kettle chip nachos, they got hellfire chicken wings, uh, street corn dip, and of course, beer battered onion rings. Ooh, those sound really good. They also have some great soups and salads too. They have smoked tomato soup, black garlic Caesar, and hellfire chicken salad. And of course, you got the burgers, Ooh, baby. I mean, that's crazy. Go. Of course, the Hell's Kitchen burger, the Stout burger, the Backyard Burger. Oh my God, is Dave. I know, the Farmhouse Burger, and of course the Ultimate Cheeseburger. Oh, and if you want to go really, really expensive, they even have a burger called the Truffle Burger, which is their most expensive burger on the menu. Woo wee! Oh, look at these things. My I am ready to dive in these for sure. All I have to say is, it has been way too long, seven months. We're so excited to be back here at Planet Hollywood for the reopening and ready to dive into some Gordon Ramsay's Burger. Cheers. Cheers, baby. Mm. That's good. So before the main event, we decided to order and split what they call their truffle parmesan fries. And it has basically a, you can just smell the rich aroma of the parmesan on those nice crispy fries. And it's got an aioli sauce that comes with it. And what else do they got? Yeah. Got some Gordon Ramsay house ketchup. Wow. Very cool. That's a house, in house made. Exactly, in house I love made. the sound of that. That, and of that course, looks awesome. And everything smells so damn good. It does smell good. So, should we give this a shot? Absolutely. All right, y'all. Here we go. Mmm, yeah, nice. I'm going to try with the aioli sauce first. Yeah, I'll do that too. See what you think. 
Dive in there. Damn. There we go. How we doing here? There we go. Ready? You ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Who's that? I mean, the truffle, you can really taste that. I only sauce is so nice, so nice and creamy. So good. It is so, wow. so good. Now, before I describe this, the truffle fries are $11.99. Just so you know, $11.99 for the truffle fries. But oh my gosh, Dave, you are so right. The aioli sauce, the truffle, and just the, that the fry and the parmesan, everything kind of complements one another. And it's very meaty. It's so like almost good. a meaty texture it's to so it, good. right? I mean, these are some of the best fries I've ever had. They're really good. I mean, a real kind of just fancy gourmet fry. Yes, for crispy sure. on the outside, really soft yeah. on the inside. The They're Parmesan good. cheese is great, and of course you have those those little scallion types. Oh, yeah, we gotta try that. That's really grot. Catch up, but let's. We'll try that, but one more time. One more of this. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that is really that good. That is so. I love it. Delicious. It can almost be a meal by itself. It's yeah. So rich. Mm. Man, they're good. That's so good. So I think we should try, now this is the house ketchup you said. Yeah. So I think we should try the Gordon Ramsay's house ketchup to see if it can stand up to aioli sauce. Okay. Let's do it. I don't know how it does, because know. aioli sauce is incredible. I know. But hey, Gordon Ramsay, burger house. He Maybe. always does it, yeah. I'm just saying. Here we go, let's see how it is. Cheers, here we go. Mmm. Mm. Very good. A little sweeter than the texture, so. I don't think it complements as well as the aioli sauce with the truffle fries. I agree with that. I mean, but I think it's a great, great ketchup, but that aioli sauce is so great with the fries. It really said. is. Yeah. It just, the ketchup has a nice kind of sweetness to it. Yeah. It ain't Heinz. Now, before we get to the main event, we just wanted to mention that the service here has been great. And also, the spacing is really, really good. You can feel very comfortable eating here, especially after the, the reopening. Absolutely. Like, if that's a question and you're concerned about how is the spacing for this reopening, how is the spacing after, you know, 50% capacity, a lot of people in here, we feel absolutely comfortable. You know, we're in a perfect little section. There's six feet distance between you and the next party. And I just feel like Dave is absolutely right. They take meticulous detail, like even bringing out your silverware, yeah. they don't touch it with their hands. They use tongs. Yes, exactly. You know, so there's no Very connection impressive. between you and the other party. Really good. Welcome to the main event. <laughs> and let me start off by first saying, Dave, what did you get? <laughs> What's this? Well, this is actually the classic Hell's Kitchen Burger here at Gordon Ramsay Burger. Really one of the main events for sure. For $17.99, it has avocado, roasted jalapenos, asadero cheese, roasted tomatoes, and jalapeno aioli. And of course, all on a brioche bun. Now that looks damn brioche Let me say, <laughs> I, of course, am always going for something a little bit special. And of course, I went with a specialty tonight, which is the Hog burger. burger. It's got the mangalies, the pork, bacon, barbecue pork, Dubliner cheese, pickles, crispy onions, and slaw. Now this here is $19.99, so it's definitely not on the cheaper side, but let me tell you, it is packed full of goodness, and I'm about to pack it into this goodness right here. <laughs> can't get any better than that. I'm not sure if you guys can see, we'll show you in a little bit, but the insides just look amazing, like cooked to perfection of this pork. Oh yeah, we got these medium by the way, and they're really cooked perfectly True medium. True to medium. Yeah. You know, some places will say medium and it comes out like medium well, or exactly. well. Yeah, but this, this is, is true to medium. It looks great. Ready to dive into I'm this? Ready. Let's do it, here we go. One word. Wow, this hog burger is absolutely delicious. Now, they do not chintz on the meat in here for sure. Very good and filling. You can taste that double in their cheese, the pickles, you got the crispy onion, the crunch of the coleslaw. The brioche bun is nice and soft, and that yeah. mangalese pork is ooh, ooh, good. <laughs> yeah, that looks really good. Now, this Hell's Kitchen burger was really good. 
I mean, the avocado tastes really, really nice, nice and rich. And the, uh, you really taste that jalapeno aioli and the roasted jalapenos. There's a real kind of spiciness, great flavor to it. And also the roasted tomatoes are a real sweetness to the overall burger. It's a great burger. And I gotta say, the cheese is really nice as well, the Asadero cheese. And it is cooked to perfection. It's absolutely medium. It's really well done. It's so good. I'm having another bite. I'm already on my third. Mm. So we save the best for last. And that is Sticky Toffee Ice Cream Sandwich for $9.99. Now I am so excited for this one. You know Gordon Ramsay has the theme of Sticky Toffee Pudding yes. or Sticky Toffee wherever you go here in Las Vegas. What's exciting is this one actually has a sticky toffee sort of cookie and then it's got the brown butter ice cream underneath, which is already kind of partially melted. Oh, no, we dive well, I think in. we're ready to dive in this and give it a shot. You ready? I'm ready. It's like sticky. It's, it's like gonna taste it's, good though. It's like a mudslide. <laughs> mud <slide>, ready? <laughs> ready? Right, cheers. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. What do you think, babe? That is so, so good. You know, it's a signature sort of flavor. It really yeah. does remind me of the sticky, sticky toffee pudding over at Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, it does. It has a little bit of different ice cream. Where the ice cream over there is a speculous ice cream. Right. This is more of a brown butter. Really nice flavors for sure. I mean, you probably want to get it right before it melts and sogs up that cookie. Right. But it's a soft cookie. It's so good. Really nice, delicious. I like that. And of course, I think what's in that ice cream, the brown butter, that's around it, almost like a caramel, right? It is. It's really good. Mm. That is so good. Woo! As per usual, I am I'm so stuffed. So, let me ask you. Sure. What did you think? Well, what did you think? <laughs> what a fantastic time we had here at Gordon Ramsay's Burger for their reopening here at Planet Hollywood in Las Vegas on Las Vegas Strip. Oh, Gordon Ramsay Burger, they're really spot on for the reopening. Everything's been great, great distancing, great service, and amazing, amazing burgers. Absolutely. And by the way, if you want to join an awesome group, we have an incredible Facebook group called For the Love of Las Vegas. A lot of knowledgeable folks in there sharing their stories. Some of them are here in Vegas right now. Some of them just got back. If you want to join that group, we definitely can. Information to that is below. And if you made it this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you get a every time we post something new and exciting. As always, thanks for joining us, World Travelers, and we look forward to seeing y'all in Las Vegas! with our lovely new acquaintance, Melissa. So we are gonna start off here. We got four tasty burgers. We're gonna describe them as we go along. We're starting off here with number one on the menu here at Fuku Burgers. We're going with the Fuku Burger. Burger. <laughs> All right. So we actually, if you guys notice, we split it up in four slices on each of these burgers. As a matter of fact, just so you are aware, two of the burgers will actually will be on Bill and Lisa's channel. So you can kind of get the reactions for those over there. But first up, the Fuku, cut in four pieces. You ready to do this? I am ready. You ready to do this? I'm hungry, Ooh. Do Wait, are you ready to do this? She's ready. Oh, she's ready. She's ready to do it. Let's do it. Cheers to amazing, great times and new friendships. Yay! Here we go. First up, Fuku Burger. Everybody's gonna grab a piece. And you know how we do. Bill and Lisa don't play around. They give you their honest reaction mm. on this one. Oh yeah. So, Fuku Burgers, you might be in trouble. You better be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, David, good. go on and grab yours. I'll grab one too. Okay. 
Thank you very much. I'll take one too. This one's gonna be a little messy. A little on the messy side. I'll take that one there. Thank you very much. I got some serious green. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Cheers. Cheers. Oh boy. Whoa, mama. Mmm. What do you think? Pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Definitely have a, a yeah. little simple taste to it. Yeah, I really taste the greens in there. I do. The, the greens? Onions. The onions? Yeah, a onion there. I definitely, get, it's like a mustard kind of yeah. vibe in there. A little mustardy. I think because of all the sauce, the, the, the bread, which once was probably a little bit of a crunch to it, is now a little sog sog, but that could just be the fact that we yeah. all ate it. The bread's really nice though, it's not too heavy. Not too yeah, heavy at all. Nice. Yeah. So let me see, Lise, what do you think? It's a really good, it's a brioche bun, which is really good. The meat is very flavorful and it's cooked perfectly. Oh, I love yeah. that. Good balance of veggies in there as well. Oh, I love that. So you like that burger? Yeah, it's a really good burger. Yeah. Tell me what you think. I think it has an Asian influence to it. I'm getting a little ginger. Yes. To it. And yeah, I got a lot of lettuce over here. Yeah. <laughs> I got a half a salad. You got a lot. I think, I think I think I got your portion on this one here. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, very good. There we go, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're up for the next one here. Bill and Lisa chose this one. It's the Katsu Burger. It looks really, really nice. There we go, yeah. There we go. Deep fried. Oh, we're excited. Wow. Wow. No, it's deep fried. It's gotta be good, right? Yeah. Deep fried. It's all deep fried. All right, so Dave, I'm gonna pass you one. Okay. I'm gonna let Bill grab his. Yeah. Oh, okay. Grab one here. I gotta. So this it. is what. Uh, Look at that. Look at That's that. Nice, nice and breaded and crunchy, and as long as all the toppings. And, oh man. This I mean, is good. you had me at coleslaw. Yeah. I like Hello, that. Hello, same, 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 same girl. girl. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. All right, so. Yeah. I'm excited to try this. You excited to try this? I am excited. You guys excited to try this? Yeah, we're ready. All right, let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Hello. Ready? All right, we're Take all trying it. Take a bite. Take a bite. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, mama. I'm a, I, I want to see this. Let me, let me get, let's get Bill's reaction first. What do you think? Very Japanese. Yeah. Nice breaded pork cutlet with panko. The dressing is a little bit on the sweet side, mm -hmm. almost like a sweet slaw dressing. Yeah. Very good, very good Asian katsu burger. I love that. I, I agree. I think definitely it has like a nice crunch, a little fusion going under there. That slaw topping really makes it. It's not overpowering. I love that now when I'm getting tasting in that, that delicious bread, it's a little crunch to the bread as well. So you get like double the crunch, triple the pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right. So Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Trying to hold out. What you got? She's trying to hold down the board here. She's trying to hold down. Got a little wind blowing. Take over so she can give us a. Yeah. You can really taste the difference with that katsu. The katsu is really finely breaded and that coleslaw is a really good sweet coleslaw, kind of Asian, kind of Hawaiian type coleslaw. Amazing. I feel like when she gives the description, I want more. <laughs> exactly. You're killing it. Bye. Bam. Hello. And I'm seeing that this must be like extra sauces to make with. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to now try a bite with the sauce. Okay, so that put might it change that on. dynamic. We should all try that. Dave, dip that in there. Pour it on. What are we doing there? Okay, here we go. Dip that in. There you go. Give it a little dip. Okay, here we go. And then I want to hear what you think. Oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm ready for that one. <laughs> Tastes good. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Oh, yeah. Ready, yeah. Ready? Let's do it. Everybody, let's give them up. Here we go. We're up here. Here we go. All right. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh my gosh. So watch the mayo sauce. Yeah, I love that mayo sauce. That actually has a lot. I love the mayo sauce. That is good. It's a real good. Get that in. I'm gonna do some more. That's double my, dip. That's like my jam. Yeah. I'm double dipping. Wow. You, got a lot. you can only double do that dip. when you're married. And <laughs> <laughs> that is really good. Bill, what do you think? Yeah, you can definitely see a little bit of sriracha inside the sauce. Mm -hmm. So it does give it that nice little mild kick to it. It's good. I love it's that. Nice and sweet. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. That's yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. It is. It's yummy. Good size, too. I think we've done really well with the portion sizes here. Oh, yeah. Woo! 
I am physically stuffed. You stuffed? Oh, I am so stuffed. Are you guys stuffed? We yeah. are. You stuffed? Yeah. You stuffed? I'm stuffed. I'm stuffed. I'm stuffed. I'm stuffed. So let me ask you guys. Well, what do you think? What do you think? their channel. We have two more burgers coming at you on their channel for the amazing tastiness. And as always, thank you guys so much for joining us. We really appreciate that. And Dave, we look forward to seeing them where? On the road. On the road. Or, <laughs> or what? Or in Las Vegas. Turn up world. Cheers. Cheers. All right. So I'm starting off with something very light after the all-you-can-eat buffet. I just want to make sure I stay light tonight. So um, having the house salad effectively, it's a bib salad with bib lettuce and basically a house vinaigrette. It looks really good, looks light. I'm looking forward to jumping into it. So I'm going to start right now and dive right in. Really like it. The vinaigrette's really creamy. It's really nice exactly what I'm looking for right now so definitely thumbs up to this one all right so I got what is like a peach salad and it's got peach it's got uh, uh, endives it's got a reduction sauce for vinaigrette and it looks really really tasty so I'm gonna give this a try that is my jam oh my god that's really tasty the peaches are really sweet they kind of melt in your mouth you have the nuts that are in there, the little mixed nuts that are crushed in there, which gives like a nice little crunch and bite. The sauce is really nice, and the vinaigrette just really complements that sweet and sour vibe. Really tasty. I mean, definitely something I would have never thought about putting all this together on one plate, but dang, this is really good. Boy, these are so good. These are great mussels. I've always loved mussels from Maine, being a New England boy. And uh, these are actually sea farm mussels. So they basically uh, farm them in the sea, open seas on ropes, like dangling down into the ocean. And the mussels grab onto those. They kind of, they kind of put um, you know, a little mussel kind of uh, seed on there and they grow into mussels. And um, because of that, they actually, they're considered cleaner because they're out more in the open ocean, getting more uh, water flow through them. And uh, I tell you, they taste great. And the, uh, the sauce here is really, really tasty. It's very, very buttery, uh, you know, super savory. And it has Dijon, you can taste the mustard too. Dijon mustard, some saffron. Just all, all together, just a really, really nice dish. Really good. So to finalize this dish tonight, and I'm stuffed after this, I'm gonna try what we have here is like a corn that's kind of soaked in like bacon fat. I love like the little chive pieces in there. Could be good. Wow. That's really, really nice. I can taste like the sweetness of the corn kind of mixed in there with the, the fat and the chives. It's, it's just so smooth. I think it's really kind of kind of rich in flavor and dense. So I don't know if it's something I could finish, but a couple more bites. I think I'll, I'll be pretty satisfied. Uh, we are seriously stuffed. It's been a great day, but that about does it for us. Welcome to 8 East. You guys, we're so excited to be here. This tapas style pan-Asian cuisine is said to be inspired by metropolitan Asian food markets. Basically small bites with a ton of flavor. So let's kick things off with a few recommended cocktails. We have our menu so that you know exactly what they are, but boy, they look delicious. Oh, yeah. super sweet and uh, I mean, it's being strong, just like me. <laughs> exactly. And mine's kind of like an old-fashioned Manhattan, right, with some uh, rye whiskey yes. in that as well. So yes. looking forward to that. That is the wise man. It's got an yep. old Forrester rye whiskey, 100 proof. Woo! Oh my gosh. Right up your alley with Montenegro, Amaro, Carpano, Antica, and Sweet Vermouth. And I end up getting here, um, let me see, it's called Heart of Pina, which looks really, really good. It's Patron-based, which is nice, agave, lime, blood orange, passion fruit, pomegranate, and cardamom bitters. Cheers, Cheers everyone. for a wonderful night. Absolutely, it's gonna be great. Here we go. Well, looky, looky, poof, what a ride. This is awesome, wow. Dave. So what do we got here? 
These are short rib dumplings, a special dumpling item on the menu today. Yes. Look, look, sm looks and smells amazing. Yes, and you can actually have these two ways. You can either get them steamed or pan fried. Right. The recommended choice bar waiter was getting them pan fried. And what's nice about these two is it has like a horseradish cream sauce. You don't need any additional sauces, of course, with a little bit of radish on the side. So all ready? I can say right now is let's give this a shot. You ready? Yeah, uh, I'll give it a shot. If I can hold it, it's kind of heavy. Ready? Here we go. Let's go. Wow. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah. What do you think? I love it. The uh, short rib, really tastes the short rib, really nice. And I love the horseradish sauce. That spicy little kick to it is great. I think you're absolutely right. There's a there's a nice flavor going on. It almost has like a, a hidden little vinegar, like a little twing of a taste in it. That horseradish, it doesn't really taste strong. Usually right. horseradish, you're going to get a little pop of horseradish. It's really nice, and I love how the dumpling has a little bit of a crunch to it. Yeah. Isn't that nice? There's only one problem. There's five. There's, there's five. I'll give you three, don't worry, David. Ah! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Most likely I'll be sharing with him anyway. Yeah, right. I'll turn that video off and I'm gonna start eating. Okay. <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Daniel Coughlin, uh, owner and operator at Big East. Turn it up, world. This ramen looks great. Yeah. Right, it's flaming on ramen, and Mm, smells smells really, really good. good. Broth looks nice. Yeah, and they bring you out a couple of small bowls because this is kind of a share bowl. Now these are definitely more on the mealy side, which is nice. Now yes. I, like Dave said, it's all about the broth in here. And then of course we have uh, under the plate, which I like to keep warm, yeah. is the brisket fried rice. Brisket fried rice, mm -hmm. y'all. That is crazy. That is mealy, mealy. -o. Let's see what we think about this nice bone broth. Yeah, the broth. Oh, there we go. It looks wonderful. Yeah. What do you think, babe? I think it's good. I think it's time to dig in. You know? Okay, we're gonna jump it off. I think, it think? I'm gonna use my fork on this one though, guys. <laughs> yeah. I apologize in advance. Exactly. But it looks really good. You got the meat in there. Oh, I got mushroom. It. This is gonna be a little ugly. Ready? This is gonna be a little ugly. That's okay. As long as it ends up in there your you mouth. Go. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Go. Mmm. I think that is so, so good. I really do like the broth. The broth is wonderful. The mushrooms with a little bit of that crunch. And the, uh, wow, the flaming yum is actually pretty nice. It doesn't taste, you know, I'm thinking it's gonna be a little bit more on right. that lean, like you said, leaner side, but the broth complements it all. Exactly, and it's very thinly sliced too. Yes. So the broth just it absorbs, you know, the meat absorbs all that broth, so you get the flavor in the broth. And it's really, it's lighter than you expect. Yes. It's actually quite light, you know, and so at first you look, oh, that could be heavy. It actually tastes, that first bite tastes quite really light. Really nice, right? Yeah, really nice. Here we go. Uh oh, here we go. Hold on. Nice little, not too spicy, but a nice little spice kick, which which we like. I guess I would say I would highly recommend getting that extra sort of traditional Thai sauce. Right. Um, it's what you in the Absolutely. ramen. Absolutely. Really good. All right, so Dave, I know the traditional ramen way, which I have not been doing this far. I've been kind of trying to be a little. Kind of slurp it. Yeah, huh? we gotta slurp. So right. let's try the ramen. How do you eat slurp. ramen? How to eat ramen. I'm tiny from Turn It Up World. Here we go. Here we go. There you go, man. We're Here watching. We go. Ready? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Holy moly. You got it right. Good for you. No, that was a slurp. You don't see that every day. Mmm. Now that was a slurp. I mean, goodness gracious. First good uh, fried rice. Here we go. Good fried rice. Here we go. Mmm. Oh this God. is excellent. You really can taste the kind of the griddle on it. It's super fresh. So good. Love the brisket in there mixed in with the rice. Perfectly done. This is really some of the best fried rice I've ever had. You know what? We're time for us to dive time in. Time for us to dive in, y'all. Sorry, y'all. We gotta eat. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> up getting a lovely dessert from Chef Dan, which is sort of a green tea tiramisu, right? Yes, it looks amazing. It looks wonderful, and it has a lychee fruit on top, and it's got a little sort of coffee bit, so it's got a lot of different flavors going on in there. Cheers. Here Ready? We go. Here we go. Mm. Mm. 
food is alright. It's very rich. Yes. Right, it's not a light dessert. Not at all. But it's good. Definitely good for splitting for two folks. Yes. And it's it's got a nice creamy texture to it. And you really do taste like the green tea. It almost has like a matcha kind of flavor. Matcha yeah. spread on top of that. Oh my goodness gracious, I am so stuck. That was wonderful. Oh, it was so good. Mm. Highly recommend it. Pin up Pizza now, full disclosure, this is the next day. So Dave and I had a great time at the pool. We got carried away, relaxed a little bit longer than needed. Yeah. So we had things to do, so we decided to film this today. But boy, welcome Pin Up Pizza. These slices are humongous, and their slogan is basically large slices and pretty faces. That's right, and the <laughs> slices are definitely large. Yes. Right, really large slices here. Looks really good too, really kind of that New York style. Thin slices. Yes. Looks like my kind of pizza. Absolutely. Now it's kind of through the sports book over uh, here at Planet Hollywood. You just kind of walk through. Now there really isn't a place to sit. There's a place you can stand, but we kind of snuck over to Earl's sandwich to have a little taste of tidbit here. Yes. <laughs> so what did you get? Yeah. So I got a pepperoni and sausage slice. Wow. And it looks really good. I put some meatballs. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I, I thought it was sausage, but and that's sausage. And that's meatballs. Oh, you have everything. You okay. Got everything I got everything. Yeah. I didn't realize this. This is like the meat lovers pizza, right? We got pepperoni sausage and and uh, meatballs. Meatballs and <laughs> meatballs. Exactly. And then I threw put a little crushed red pepper on there and some parmesan. Oh, I like that. The yeah. crushed red pepper and parmesan is something right. we really like. I ended up getting with a white slice. I ended up getting with the, uh, the tomatoes. Looks like it has some basil, mozzarella. Nice thing about it, it's definitely thin, so it's not, I feel like you're not going to get filled up from the dough. No, no, no. It's right. Exactly. It's there we go. Ready? Ready? Let's do it. Mm. I gotta get some extra stuff now. Well, I'll tell you, it is pretty, this was a pretty nice slice. It's very thin on the cheese, not super powering. The crust has a nice little crunch on the bottom of that for sure. And I just love it with that burst of flavor from the tomatoes. The mozzarella has a really nice little kick to it. Of course, in the little toppings and the crushed red pepper and the Parmesan really takes it over the top. But I thought it was a pretty good slice. Yeah, well, mine, this is definitely a meat lover's pizza. I mean, <laughs> you can really taste the pepperoni, the sausage, and the meatball. It's like all in there, really good. I don't, there's not a ton of sauce on there. So I don't taste a lot of sauce. A uh, nice thin layer of cheese, which I like. I, I don't really like real thick, kind of doughy pizza. So this is thin. For some people, maybe it's a little bit too thin. Yeah, but well, I that's why we love that. I kind of like it this way. So that was really good. Hey, you guys, welcome to the Sky Bar. It's amazing oh. here on the 23rd floor of the Wall Office Road. I know, can you believe these views? I know. Unbelievable. And they're so all beautiful. sides. Every side we walk yes. on, there is a view. What a great way to kind of sort of end this night here at the Waldorf Astoria. The Sky Bar has some amazing cocktails um, from what we were told and also some really good bites, right? Right, got some nice small bites, some nice drinks, amazing views and amazing company. Yay, mm, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Yay, so we're starting off with some delicious cocktails. We're leaving it like we always do in the hands of our waiters. So let's see what he brings us. Yeah. One of the prettier cocktails for the lady, of course. And this is interesting. This one is called the Block 16. Now it has Belvedere vodka, uh, their homemade vanilla syrup, which sounds really awesome, and a freeze dried, like edible flower. In this case, it looks like a freeze dried lime, which I'm excited about. Now, Block 16 was the from the original Red Light Districts, right, Dave? Yeah, that's right. I don't right. know what you thought about burning up for me for, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? I don't know, but it sure probably tastes good. Like yeah, let's see yeah, how it is. I love the glass. High stem. Mm. Oh, that is really refreshing. It's kind of one of those, I feel, it's got a really kind of um, limey, sort of lemon, uh, really citrusy sort of feel. Um, didn't taste the vanilla just yet, but the Belvedere, it's one of those drinks that will sneak up on you and block 16 you. <laughs> <laughs> so. As usual, I went for an old-fashioned Manhattan-style drink, <laughs> right? Uh, it's called the Prohibition. Ooh. Okay. What is like, a Prohibition here at a nice, you know, cocktail lounge like this? Only in Vegas. <laughs> Only in Vegas, right? But anyway, this is actually, it's uh, a Whistle Pig 10-year uh, age. Wow, rye. Rye whiskey, mm -hmm. yeah, really, really nice stuff. 
Uh, it actually has some maple syrup in there as <gasps> well. Really mm. cool. Uh, some port wine and some bitters uh, and a cherry as well. Looks really good. I'm just gonna jump right in here and try it out. And then I'm gonna jump right in there and try it out oh, as well. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna like this one, Tanya. Super smooth, not too sweet. Great blend of flavors in this thing. I tell you, that uh, whiskey is excellent. And the maple syrup has a nice subtle sweet flavor that doesn't overpower you, because I don't love really sweet things. This right. is not that at all. Let's see, what do you think? Ooh. That's awesome, right? I think I like yours better than mine. Right? We can switch. Okay. I'll switch for you. <laughs> We're gonna switch y'all. We're gonna share. Sharing is better. Sharing is better. <laughs> Boy, look what just showed up on our table. Oh, uh, our small bites have arrived. Yes, and they're really cute. The presentation, I'm uh, excited. And we are hungry and the food smells amazing. Yeah, so we ended up getting, and I'll start with what I ordered. We sure. ended up getting the, sort of the blackened shrimp tacos and they look fantastic, delicious, and they probably taste better when they're hot. Yes, <laughs> so exactly. we gotta get to this. Yes, and we, we also got the beef sliders with some bacon, oh. some special sauce. It, uh, oh boy, they smell really good. They and we do. are ready to jump right in. I know, so. on those nice brioche ones. Wanna, wanna, yeah, that brioche Should one. we try the sliders Let's first? Let's do that. Let's dive into the sliders. Let's dive in, what the I heck? I like it. Together. Together? Everything's Forever. better together. Here we Cheers. go. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Nice, some onions in there. Cooked mm -hmm. in, really good. Mmm, that is really good. All right. A lot of flavor in that beef. Great flavor. The sauce, the onions, the caramelized onions, and then of course that brioche bun has a little crunch on the top of it. Very good. They're cooked on the well side, but still good with all the flavoring around yes. the sauce. Yeah. I was gonna say that has a different of a, of a well taste to yeah. it. Yeah. Not as juicy, but the sauce mm -hmm. is on point. Mm. Mm. What do you guys think about that? Mm -hmm. I love meat to cheese. Meat to cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, well, those sliders were very good. They were awesome. They were what's so up? Tasty. What's up next? Yeah, well, of course, we have the blackened shrimp tacos. Oh, man. And I am dying to try that. Do you want me to squeeze some lime on there? Yes, please. Well, lime it is. I'm going to put a little dab on yours, a little dab on mine. Mm. And you can't, I mean, blackened shrimp is always amazing. So, so here we go. Yeah. There's a lot of flavors going on there. I feel like there's some salsa verde mm -hmm. in there. A little bit of the spice. Um, the shrimp had a perfect crunch to it. Cooked nicely. And of course, the uh, tortilla. So good. It's so good. It almost tastes like a little bit of habanero pepper in yes. there. The way it feels. Really nice heat. I love it. This is a great one. Oh, great bite. Wow. Very good. You heard that. He likes those blackened shrimp tacos. I guess I better add that to the uh, the menu for home. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, babe. Oh, I have to spill it. Voila. Uh, here we go. That was a scary bite I had. <laughs> Thank God David was blocking it. <laughs> <laughs> 